hello, what's up this afternoon, everyone? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Fine Monday to you all. Good to see ya, good to see ya, good to see ya. What is up? Ooh, Admiral Blastos, Catmares, Trickly Jazz, how are you today? Busting Benji, oh man, we have more, we have more problems with the... Uh, with the green screen. Always the green screen. Giving me issues. There we go. Fixed. Hopefully. Maybe. Uh, Zach Zelda, AK Guy, Catmer. How are you? How are you? Albano, Albano. Good to see you. Sokar. Hello, hello. How is this fine Monday to you? Hopefully everyone had a good weekend. And uh, I'm excited. We're giving this deck another shot. Well, a new and improved version of a deck. You probably remember this one from last week. We aborted quickly after going 0-3. Ended up building tutelage. Well, we're trying to for told Starfield again. But as you can see, remember last time, this pile was completely empty. There were zero two drops in the deck, and there was uh, almost zero one drop. So now we actually have a really functional magic curve, so I'm excited to uh, actually try this. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, it feels like this deck can do really awesome things. Hopefully this is a build that solves the issues we had. We're trying it again. Try it again. Hey, what's up, Glock guy? How are you this fine, fine afternoon? Oh, uh, yes. I'm excited for this deck, too. I know I was disappointed when we kind of like scrubbed out hard last time even though brewing tutelage was really sweet but i'm excited to give this build with hopefully a semi-functional curve a shot because it seems like he can do really cool things uh saw crim night go to uh mf portland what about you uh i am not going to mf portland portland is a long way for me there is an outside chance that i go to commander fest dc uh I don't, there, I'm, uh, maybe, 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 it's possible, it's possible, yeah, we have Lunar Force, you gotta, you gotta play the Lunar Force to lock people out of the game, potentially, with Starfield, this deck, it's got shenanigans, it does really cool things, I'm excited to, uh, give it a shot, uh, yeah, you're going, right, Zelda, Zach, you're gonna be there, uh, maybe, maybe I'll make it, hey, what's up, Joseph, how are you today, Starfield 2.0, a uh, 2.0 not only refers to the second type we're playing the deck, but that, <laughs> that the deck actually has two drops now, now. <laughs> Uh, so that's uh, our plan for this afternoon. At least to start out, we're going to see if this is the build of Starfield Doom Foretold that actually uh, actually works. Also, important news of the day, Wizards, they announced Secret Lair. And I got to, before we get into everything, I got to hear what y'all think of this. They announced the Secret Lairs. I'm very curious what the response is to this. So Secret Lair, basically, the first batch that we saw, there's seven of these all together. The first one that was revealed, a bunch of cat cards with very cute cat art. Uh, so these are all reprints. You get the cool cat tokens. You get kind of the cute cat art. This one is $40, I believe, or you could pay $200 for all seven of the drops. The other one we've seen so far is... Uh, Bitter Blossom. It is just literally. How do I get out of this? Oh, here we go. Uh, it is just literally. Let's see. Where uh, where is this? Um, Bitter Blossom Dreams. This one was revealed. We should be getting Eldraine Wonderland like any minute now. Uh, but Bitter Blossom Dreams is literally a Bitter Blossom with four fairy tokens. Uh, so I'm very curious if anyone's gonna actually. Oh, what's up, Star? We gotta do good now that Starfield is here. So that is the closest we've ever seen Wizards come to just selling singles. You can just buy a Bitter Blossom for thirty dollars. I think you can get up to ten per person. I think the uh, the max is so. Hey, what's up, uh, Kudigar? How are you? I mean, the art is definitely cool. Uh, I think the art's really sweet. The Bitter Blossom, if you need Bitter Blossom, Bitter Blossom's like $40. This one's $30, so you get a discount on Bitter Blossom. The cats, I think you're buying more because they look cool than, uh, than anything else, because the value is not super high, but... It does cheapen Bitter Blossom. Ooh, Zach Zelda, or Zelda deck, rather. I always say that backwards. Handing out the gifts up to Starfield of Nyx. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soups here for our new subscriber. So that's been the big news of the day. Finding out what these are. We should literally, like, any minute now. Maybe it's already up now. Has anyone seen, seen the latest one? We were supposed to get... Okay. Uh, Secret Lair number two. I guess I can just put this on the screen. All right, let's let's see what this one is. This just came out. This is uh this is Amy's review. This is the Eldorate edition. What cards are in this one? Um Wait. Are these storybook cards? Oh, hang on. These are other things. Okay, secret lair. 
Ooh. All right. I see a snow-covered plains. A foil promo snow-covered plains? Is this just a box of foil snow-covered plains? There's got to be more than just snow-covered plains, right? All right. Snow-covered... Snow-covered plains. Snow-covered island. Snow-covered swamp. They do look really nice. That's it? Huh. Okay. Um. Interesting. I mean, yeah, they, they are a little curvy. They look really nice. Looks like, yeah, th uh, I think it's $30 for that one. But, I mean, I guess that's a good deal if you want snow-covered planes. Little awkward that you can only buy 10 of them. You buy 10, you would get... 10 of each. You really need to be able to buy like 20 of them to actually build a full deck out of them, but uh, Boracrod, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so, so much for your subscription. Big scoops here for our new subscriber. <coughs> Excuse me, how much do these actually cost? Like, I mean, they actually are pretty expensive. Snow, uh, Snow Covered Island is is $16. Snow this is for Cold Snap Foils. Forest, $10. I mean, if it's something you want, you're getting them for a good price, and you're getting cool art, and I guess they are playable thanks to Modern Horizon stuff. So, I mean, $30 for one of each. Snow-covered swamp. Uh... I guess, actually, you should probably look at the Modern Horizons versions. I guess even the Modern Horizons versions are still fairly expensive. So you're still getting a, a pretty good deal if that's something you're in the market for. Can you show us the deck of the original form so we can compare to today's deck? Oh, that's a good idea. Joey Cads, welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big Soup's here for our new subscriber. So definitely an interesting idea. Is that something you're going to buy? I'm curious if people are actually going to buy them. I... I'm on the fence if I would just pay $200 for the whole thing. I'm really on the fence. I think if I played more in paper and knew I would use the cards, I would be more likely to uh, for because of the super sweet art. But because I mostly play online, I don't know if I would buy them just to have them. I don't know what i do with, like, Bitter Blossoms or, like, the cats. I just, I don't know what i do with them other than just have them sit in my closet, but I think if if I was going to use them, they look cool, and so far we've seen cats are not really great value. Bitter Blossom is good value. The snow-covered foil lands are good value, so maybe, I don't know, it's interesting. With all the products coming, I'm glad <laughs> there's so much I don't care about. That was my big takeaway. That was really my big, uh, that was really my big takeaway was as a community, we need to uh, get used to not to realizing that every product for uh, is for us, and not being ashamed or feeling bad about not caring about certain products. Like some people are gonna love that cats thing, and they're gonna love the cats and love the art and play with their commander deck, and that's awesome. Other people are just like, whatever, I don't care. Like that's not for me. I'm never gonna use them, and that's fine. Like that can exist. Not every product has to be for everyone, and you don't need to feel bad because you can't or don't want to purchase every product. So I think that that's with more and more products coming out, we need to adjust that because we're used to caring about everything we come from a world where it's not that long ago we got what four standard sets a year and that was that was magic that was all of it four you have four standard sets maybe one supplemental product and it made sense to care about and invest in every single product now you just can't do that there's too many products there's products for commander players and people that want to uh, bling out their decks there's products for modern exclusive products uh etc 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 so you just you can't care about everything these days so pick and choose the products that make you happiest invest in those and don't feel bad about not investing in the rest of them long time watcher not a sub always love the stream and content love the positive attitude hope all is well in life and family well thank you so much uh my sir dark anyway anyway my my mini rant about caring and not caring and who products are for it's out of the way let's do our reminders talk about this deck see if we can actually lock some people out this time with uh doom foretold in starfield index version 2.0 uh i really like how they look but only five lands for the price take too much for me even if they are a special edition i think the value is fine but <laughs> i think the value is fine but you have to want foil snow covered lands for it to be worth it for you if you don't 
care about having foil snow covered lands sure like the value is fine but if you're not going to use them then it's not actually not actually worth it zach zelda with another gift sub to my story ying yeah y- uh, my story Dank? My story dank! 420, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big subscription for you. <laughs> Jay Zoller, people still love Pioneer. Icy Dog for the 16th month. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big subscription for our new subscriber. Uh, yes, so so people, I did a poll asking you what format people wanted to see, and it was like 60 something percent Pioneer. 12% modern, 10% standard, or 10% historic, 8% standard or something. Like, people love Pioneer, so we're pioneering, and I also love Pioneer. Am I taking Thanksgiving off? I, uh, yes. I'm going to take Thanksgiving off of streaming. I have a... Uh, hey, thank you, Icy Doc. Good luck at work. I'm going to take it off. Get uh, some family stuff going on and, like, people coming into town for Thanksgiving. So no stream on Thursday for Thanksgiving. Apologies, but, yeah, I got to do, gotta do some family stuff for that. Anyway, let's do our reminder start playing this deck so uh any expectations for bannings today i believe there will be no bannings wizards actually said last announcement that it was very unlikely that there would be bannings because of the ptqs that are happening this week on moto so i believe that it's very unlikely we actually get pioneer bannings today and then next week it'll probably uh pick back up a little bit more when is thanksgiving for my european friends a thursday so no stream on thursday when we normally would have it because that is uh that is thanksgiving uh here in the u.s i've been hurting for some more modern content but much improved this last week slacked my thirst for now Uh, admiral we got i will get more modern in i promise i have not forgotten about modern i really have it so reminders replay youtube that's where you can find all the old streams including this one in the future normal youtube yesterday we tried Tried to dagger burn some fools and pioneer on bunch of brew tonight there is a standard budget magic throne of eldorade standard 3.0 uh there is a suite against the odds coming up on wednesday so keep an eye out for all that in the youtube channel hey seth for time watching an actual stream been almost two years i started following your awesome inspiring work just wanted to say thank you well thank you so much uh non-state oh also this is unrelated but i haven't i i actually got an amp so i will be showing off the sweet new uh guitar shortly not today, because the amp has not arrived yet, but guitar is incoming, uh, I promise. Uh, a reminder that our sponsor today is Card Kingdom, and if you need some Magic the Gathering cards, you can snag them over at cardkingdom.com. Even grab a Saffron Olive sticker, just mention you want one in your order notes. They got you covered for standard, pioneer, modern, whatever you need, they got it. So thank you so much to Card Kingdom for supporting the stream today. The Blood Moon guitar, yes, yes, yes. Hey, what's up, uh, Hoof? How are you today? Otherwise, merch page. Tokens, t shirt, way back. Good way to support the stream and the channel and the site. Donations, always appreciated. Never required. $2 or more gets your message read on stream. Seth looks like someone who would play a, uk- a ukulele. <laughs> uh, okay. I actually don't know how to play a ukulele. I don't think it's tuned the same as a guitar, I'm pretty sure. If I could just tune it like a guitar, I could probably play it a little bit. <laughs> Did you think about doing demonic pack build with st- uh, Starfield. Yes, I did consider that, and I think that would be a possibility. So let's talk about this deck. So, a little bit of context. Last week, we tried Esper... Esper Noob Chandras. We tried... <laughs> oh, this curve. We tried it for a very short period of time. We went 3 scrubbed out, and heading into it, we were like, this deck looks really cool. I love the idea of Starfield of Dex and Doom Foretold, but look at the curve. This curve is so bad. We have basically no one drops. We have literally no two drops. We have infinite three drops. How does this actually function? And we found out the answer is it doesn't actually function. We went quickly 0-3. It wasn't super close, but the idea felt like it had potential. So we are going to try it again, but this time you could see the piles have changed. We have one drops in Thoughtseize and Deadweight. We have a bunch of two drops. Golden Eggs, Trial of Ambition, great in this deck. Comes into play, makes our opponent sack a creature, and then we could sacrifice it for free, essentially, to our dupe for Toads later in the game. Uh, we have Dawn of Hope, a little bit of life gain, make some jump blockers. We have Search for His Con- to fill our graveyard for our Starfield of Nyx, eventually flip around. So we actually have tons of early interaction to slow the game down. Then we have the same powerful loops for the late game because what we are trying to get to, uh, the thing about Seal Away, uh, I think Trial of Ambition hopefully better because Seal Away, we don't want to have to sack it to Doom Foretold and give our opponent the thing back. Trial of Ambition, while 
a little bit riskier removal wise it's a removal spell that we're more than happy to actually just sacrifice to doom foretold and can sit out on the battlefield and then sacrifice but the looper tried to sit up is starfield of nyx getting back doom foretold every turn which basically locks our opponent out of the game we're just getting it back we're drawing cards opponents discarding cards we're making up sacrifice stuff once it goes away we do it again we can loop eldest reborn again keep sacrificing discarding reanimating we can lock our opponent with lunar force this weird enchantment where whenever our opponent casts a spell they sacrifice sacrifice it so once we have starfield going we can have a lunar force opponent casts everything gets countered next turn starfield gets back lunar force opponent casts another thing gets countered just kind of soft lock them out of the game we can loop oath of kaias until we win the game so that's the plan of the deck basically same general idea as what we tried last week but actually having a functional curve theoretically oath of Liliana makes opponent sacrifice a creature and it's legendary so you can loop them with starfield ew that does sound uh sweet except what our big concern with the last time was just the was just the curve so i think trial of ambition while oath of Liliana might be better i think trial of ambition is probably more important just to fill out our curve because we really 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 need these two drops because that's where we kind of stumbled last time otherwise sideboard we have some other enchantments we do have follow the thread with Leyline of the Void to build our own one-sided Armageddon. Nyx Fleece Ram slows things down against aggro, gains us life. Imprison of the Moon, removal spell for creatures or planeswalkers or lands for that matter. Can get rid of like Field of the Dead, Detention Sphere, get rid of a bunch of zombie tokens. Soul Rats up, kind of wacky, steal a creature. Pony can discard cards to make a sacrifice it, but then we can always get it back with our Starfield of Nyx. Phyrexian Scriptures as a slow removal spell that's also a slow graveyard hate spell. And that's the idea of the deck. Grind Finding out Starfield value again and again and again. Any chance of a curse version? Um, I think... <sighs> I think we could do cool things with curses. I don't know how good curses would be in this deck in specific. We don't really have a way to ramp into the big powerful curses. I feel like maybe some sort of ramp deck would be would be better for it. Looks really nice. Expecting a solid 2-3. Solid 2-3 is my my middle name when it comes to you, Pioneer. <laughs> that is that is kind of a tradition. Actually, I'm hoping we'd feed the kids. I think there's a chance. Uh, one pacifism for old school flavor. Ooh, pacifism. The problem with pacifism is it's very awkward with our edicts because then our opponent always sacrifices. Um, our opponent sacrifices uh, the creature that has a pacifism. So, hey, you're welcome, uh, Revigan. Yeah, I tried. I didn't have time to actually find the <laughs> find the entire link, but I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad you found it. Yeah, the rest of them should be revealed over the next few hours, I think. What are some of my favorite bands? Um, well, kind of all-time favorite. Velvet Underground is one of them. Ween, I also really enjoy. Uh, I've been listening to Wilco a lot lately. Um, those are those are three that I go back to pretty often, I think. The truth about scriptures is that you want to combo... Wait, the truth about scriptures is that you want to combo with Follow the Thread. Uh, it can work with Follow the Thread, too. Yeah, the timing does line up. Have you played Sword Sliver Deck in Modern? Uh, I have not. I saw, I saw the video of it. It was definitely a cool idea. I d don't know how... Uh, how competitive it really is it seems like uh a sw super sweet like against odd style deck where the wids are just like spectacular but i don't know i don't know like as far as like winning a league with it or something uh what the odds are chaos welcome to the fishbowl thank you so much for your subscription big soups here for our new subscriber yeah i'm expecting lots of field of the dead so it's kind of kind of a big thing this hand looks fine i mean we have things we can do early we have a doom foretold. No Starfield, but we got time to find it. All right, go ahead about it. Are you going to revisit Teferi Knowledge Pool with new Teferi? Uh, yes, we'll probably have to revisit that at some point as well. Oh, boy. All right, Gilded Goose. Makes a food. Mm. Mm. <sighs> All right, Shambling Vents, go. We're not going to run out of two drop yet. Pass the turn. Nothing wrong with Field of the Dead. I think the Field of the Dead is probably going to end up getting banned in Pioneer. It seems very likely to. Are we getting O-Code? Turn to O-Code again. Watching with my sons playing Magic, they are becoming fans. Oh, that's awesome, Jay. Well, hello to uh, hello to your your sons. Hello, hello. Yeah, opponent's got the, the double, triple goose. Okay. <laughs> that's a, a bit concerning. Opponent passes. Ha, <laughs> ha, 
<laughs> oh, hey, um. Lunar Force you? Opponent has two lands, three geese. Ah. Oh. Hmm. So I think what we got to do is play something this turn. Next turn, we can Dawn of Hope and Bloodfast. And then we can Noob Foretold with some stuff to sack. The question is, yeah, Legion's End could be sweet, too. The question is, do we Lunar Force or do we just Oath of Kaya kill a goose? I guess the other thing about Oath of Kaya is it can set us up to Noob Foretold next turn. Our opponent could just play, like, another one drop and then follow it up with something huge. If we play Lunar Force, we can't Doom Foretold next turn. That's the downside. I mean, yeah, the upside of getting Oath of Kai out isn't so much killing a goose, but allowing us to Doom Foretold next turn. All right, all right. People want to see Lunar Force. We'll go with Lunar Force. I don't know if that's correct or not, but we'll we'll do it. La Plato! Use the Force is with us. <laughs> Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soup's here for our new subscriber opponent. Second food. <laughs> okay. Life is bad. Well, I mean, I guess we ate a stubborn denial. That's something. Ah, oh, triple goose. Triple goose! Opponent. Watch I got. Oh, that's tougher than I was brutal. I stepped away from the stream for a minute, came back, not one, not two, but three geese. Yes, there are geese literally everywhere. Opponent. Passing. Watery grave. Well... Let's Oath of Kaya. Kill a goose for no really good reason. Watery Grave tapped. Well, next turn we can try to get down Doom Foretold and then go from there. Hopefully our opponent get like Oko or something this turn. Breeding Pool. Oh no, it's it's going to be Nissa and we're going to lose. Ugh. Questing Beast. Well, that's also not great. Classic Beast, put it. Hits us for a billion. Sure. Ooh, Starfield. Oh, so close. Well. Run out. Doom foretold. Really? Hmm. Well, that's the worst. Ah, uh, now we're probably dead. Debate bro! Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big Soup's here for our new subscriber. Uh, two, uh... Two stubborn Niles. Pretty good against us. Bow it. Gets it. For a bundle. Hits us. Down to 13. Stomping grounds. Untapped. Passes. Well, okay... Starfield of Nyx. Do we remain alive? We get to start doing what our deck wants to do. I, I mean, it's a little unfortunate they had two stubborn denials in their opening hand. All right, opponent makes a bunch of food. We get a Starfield. We play Hollowed Fountain. Well, pass the turn. See what happens. Pound it. Untaps. Stopping grounds. Untapped again. Glory Bringer. All right. That is probably lethal damage. Ah. Oh. oh, that's not at all what we wanted to see. Well, Starfield. Gets back Doom foretold. Uh, these geese, they've ruined our day. The problem is they can just kill us with flyers, and we can't stop the flyers. Well, 
Bloodfast. I don't think there's I don't think there's a way out from here, unfortunately. Uh, if our opponent only had one stubborn denial. Yeah, all right. Oh, 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 that was so sad. Huh. Well, that was a weird draw. Pony had three geese and two stubborn denials. I always thought Field of the Dead was only a problem in Standard because it doesn't have stuff like Field of Ruin. Why doesn't it work in Pioneer? Uh, it's pretty busted in Pioneer. The problem is it generates a value so immediately. Hey, what's up, Bearman? How are you? Zelda Zack handing out the gift stuff to Admiral Blastos. Yeah, we got, we got double Force Spike there, double Mana Tithe. Hey, was brewing for a Pioneer League... Uh, my LDS is holding. Was wondering what you think of the deck. What's uh, what's your deck, Zol Transorin? Anytime I feel sad, I think about the time someone's significant other tweeted at Seth uh, complaining about Tron, and I instantly feel better. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, all right, so what do we do? We can bring in Phyrexian scriptures. That is a that is our wrath. It's a slow wrath, but it's a wrath. Next fleece ram doesn't seem super helpful. What is not helpful in our deck? What are we what are we cutting? Is the question. Deadweight kills a goose. Uh, Phyrexian scriptures are just so slow. But it is a it is a lock against creature decks. I think we have to go down Lunar Force. Lunar Force does not actually seem effective in this matchup. It's better in control matchups. Dr. Anabai, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soup tier for our new subscriber. And probably Detention Spheres going down Eldest Reborn and... Ugh. Golden Egg? Imprisoned in the Moon. Maybe we bring those in, too. Imprisoned in the Moon. Soul Ransom. How much can we cut? Can we fit all this stuff in? Dawn of Hope. Golden Egg. And... Ugh, uh, now we're cutting two drops. But Alright, let's try it like that. Let's try it like that. Yeah, Dawn of Hope can't block... Can't block Questing Beast, which is an issue. We got a donation. We get to play first. Yeah, all right. We will keep. As long as we hit lands, this, uh, this hand seems good. Turn one thought sees. Hopefully, turn three, kill, kill, kill. Just start killing everything. Uh, new donation from Alistor Cade. $5 donation. You should do that guild tier list that Ellie Warfield tr uh, tweeted out. I'm curious what your D tier guilds would be. Ooh. That is a good idea. I will have to... Thank you so much for the donation, Alistor. I will, uh, I will have to try to do that. That does sound like it could be pretty fun. Pony has once upon a time. I don't know why, but I'm extremely upset we're not playing Fall of the Thran in the main. It's a little matchup dependent. The problem... Holy... Uh... Well, take... Gilded Goose. Pass the turn. Okay. I mean, opponents kept a risky, a risky, risky hand. They got a zero lander. Stroll rack. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soup cheer for our new subscriber. Give us a land. That is a land. All right. So, fabled passage. Go. All right. Things are shaping up. Things are shaping up. Oh, no audio for donations? That's not good. I could hear it. I assumed you could, too. Chrono Lads for the 20th month. I'll have to check my OBA, uh, OBS section. Thank you for your subscription. Welcome to the Fishbowl. Big soup cheer for our new subscriber. Opponent, like a, like a pro, land off the top. Sure. Hits us. Aha. I see why it's not working. Should start working now. Opponent passes. Huh? How is that possible? Didn't they? Hmm. I am very confused. Didn't they have one land, one mana dork after we thought seize them? How did they draw both a second land and a second mana dork? 
Is that possible? Is that an actual thing that can happen? Um, all right, so we will take a planes, I guess. Opponent gets another mana dork. Undeps. A hollowed fountain untapped. Kill a mana dork. Yeah, oh, gates of life. Pass the turn. Uh, that's true. I guess uh, they went... Yeah, that's a good point. Because we thought seize them, and then they drew for their first turn. Hey, another land off the top. Okay. Opponent. Reclamation Sage. Sure. And passes. Hits us. Well, we will keep doing the same thing. Uh, Oath of Kaya. Kill your mana dork. Feels like this is kind of working. Temple of Silence. Yeah, we'll keep Fabled Passage. Pass the turn. Okay, there is a disdainful stroke. There is a disdainful stroke to worry about. Pote. No, missed a land drop. Okay. Gets in. Hits us. We're back up to 18. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Pote. Another land! Well, Fabled Passage. Go. This is... This is blowing my mind. Opponent untaps. Combat. Gets in. Hits us down to 14. Now crack fabled passage. Grab a swamp. Untap. Play a swamp. Pass the turn. Uh Pona's got so much hate, we need it to vary. Uh, the league deck I was asking about... Sorry, I couldn't get the message before. Ooh, let me let me see, Zoltran Zorin. Pona. Hits a once upon a time. Mono red wins. Once upon a time, finds a scavenging use. Pona. Untaps. Goes to combat. Gets in. Hits us. Down to 12. Play scavenging use. I feel like we're still losing this. Well, cast out. Get rid of scavenging use. Oh, infinite hate cards. Untap. Trial of ambition. Get rid of the Rex Age. Pass the turn. Ugh. That is a spicy red deck. That's got a, a lot of cool one ups for sure. Definitely an interesting take. Unravel the Ether. Gets back ooze. Bonnet on taps. I will say I'm a little bit salty that our opponent kept the hand that they did and got paid off the way they did. That is a, a little bit disappointing, I would say. That uh, they kept a one-lander and had their deck work exactly the way they wanted it to. But that's magic. Opponent. Eating stuff, eating stuff. Yeah, I think we die before the glory bringer comes down unless we top deck something. Yep, eats, eats, eats. Hits us. So we are dead next turn. Yeah, we need a top deck. Well, Teferi kind of works. Play Teferi. Play Teferi. Bounce. Hmm. Hmm. I guess we just bounce Trial of Ambition? That's probably our best bet, right? 
Hey, what's up, spam dude? How are you today? Yeah, I think we bounce trial. Play trial. Get rid of ooze. Opponent is going to eat. Well, play Shambling Vent. Pass the turn, but there's still a glory bringer. We need another draw. Beast Gang, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Makes you cheer for our new subscriber. There's a glory bringer. All right. The bad news is our opponent has the cards to discard to get it back. We drop to three. Untap. Oh, okay. Take up to fairy. Trial of ambition. Get rid of glory breaker. Oh. Oh, what do we do? Oh, what is our best plan, chat? Do we just have to attack with Shambling Vent so we're not dead? I think we have to. Oh, I guess Starfield doesn't do anything here anyway. So Shambling Vent, go to combat, get in. Hit our opponent. Go back up to five. So we're not dead to one attack. Pass the turn. Oh, this is so close. Phone it. Come on. Come on. Nothing big and scary. Nothing big and scary. <sighs> opponent yep more glory bringers hits us well we need a top deck <laughs> and i believe that's just game souls ransom oh Oh, this was this was uh, one of the more frustrating games I've played in a while. Because we saw our opponent's opening hand. And our opponent's opening hand was as greedy as could be imagined. <sighs> oh. Oh. Oh, oh, wow, 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 all right, well, uh, I feel like the magic gods wanted our opponent to win that one, <laughs> and you can't beat the magic gods, uh, can we play ransom as an instant and remove it from combat, uh, it's a, it's an enchantment, so we can't. I mean, it was, so it was four mana, we gained control of our opponent's creature, they had to discard two, we got to draw two, and they get the creature back, but because the creature was exactly what our opponent wanted, uh, you could use the blue ley line, uh, I mean, you could, the problem with blue ley line is, you really need to get a lot of value out of it to make it worth, uh, the price of a card, Greca, 1982, welcome to the fishbowl, thank you so much for your subscription, big soup's here for our new subscriber, don't they have to wait until they can cast a sorcery, uh, no, I think, uh, they can do it at any time, well, this hand looks reasonable if our opponent's playing a creature deck. We have two removal spells into Doom Foretold, into Starfield. If our opponent's playing Planeswalker and Control, on the other hand, or something, then this is a little sketch. Oath of Kaya, and to the bottom. We need lands. Come on, show us the goose! This time we want to see a Vanna Dork. I mean, if you enchant it after they declare attackers... But I mean, wait, I'm so, um, well, now I kind of would have liked that Oath Gaia. I'll play a Plains, get rid of Soul Scar Mage. Pass the turn. Uh, how would we enchant it after they go to combat, though? I'm so confused. Because it's, it's a, it's an enchantment. 
So I don't know how we are casting it during our opponent's turn. Yeah, Teferi only only impacts instants and sorceries, not enchantments. Bout it. Plays a Dragon's Go Summit. Scrap Heap Scrounger. Sure. Passes. Okay, let's, I guess, keep it going. Trial of Ambition. Get rid of Scrap Heap Scrounger for the time being. This is looking good. This is looking good. Play the land past the turn. Okay, I think we're getting there. <laughs> Leyline of Anticipation. It's an interesting... The problem is... So, it can do cool shenanigans, but it also doesn't do anything at a, uh, by itself. That is that is the problem with cards like Leyline of Anticipation. Like, it would be cute to be able to like flash in Trial of Ambition... But at the same time, then when we really need Trial of Ambition, we're going to top deck a ley line that doesn't do anything. So so that's kind of the the challenge and the balancing act, I think, of of a card like uh, Ley Line of Anticipation. Yesterday I went 4-1 with Jeskai Tokens losing a mana screw. Any chance you might take the deck for a spin? Or only if I win a small Japanese tournament, will you play it? Uh, No, there's a chance it uh, would play... Would play Jeskai Tokens. Heart of Kirin. Ooh, that's... That is actually good for us. That gives us a Doom for Told target. Oh, this is what our deck wants to be doing. This is it. We're seeing. We're seeing the beautiful, shining example. Now we have the Starfield, too, so we're just going to lock them? Oh, this is the power. The power of the deck it, we've gotten there. I want to get to Pioneer Online, but what would a good deck be to learn how to click properly? Ugh. Jeez. Uh, that is a... That is a tricky one hmm we have a new donation let me think on that we have a new donation for rum put it get rid of that heart of Kieran. see you later vehicle from grimuski five dollar donation thank you so much for playing my tasker deck on commander clash now my friends constantly make fun of me for not having damnation in it <laughs> i'm sorry grimuski i'm sorry <laughs> oh speaking thank you so much for the donation by the way uh, yeah, that's a sweet deck. Speaking of Commander, any, uh, C-E-D-H? Uh, we don't have any Cartouches. Uh, although that would be kind of cool. La -lo uh, Loco Pelly. First time sub, thank you so much. Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big subs cheer for our new subscriber. About it, passing. Oh, the lock, the lock is on. The lock is on. Zach, Trial of Ambition. Fabled Passage. Crack Fabled Passage. It is Starfield time. Uh, we will grab a... This is beautiful. The Great Stew, another first-time sub. Thank you so much, Great Stew. Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soup cheer for you. The lock is here. The lock is here, and it is beautiful. Your go, Rakdos. This is what the deck can do. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Uh, C-E-D-H. I need a C-E-D-H deck. For this week's Commander Clash. Can be as mean and competitive as possible. This is like our, our one week a season. Uh, one season. One week a season, yeah. Where we do CDH decks with no ban list or anything. Crepping! Another new sub. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soups here for our new subscriber. But I want to be something that is uh, also sweet, possibly. Sphere of Safety seems... Wow, really? You're going to keep our... Keep our... Uh, keep our Doom Foretold going? Okay. Thank you, opponent. Sack it. <laughs> all right. All right, all right. Ooh, opponent. Opponent, opponent. Hey, what's up, General Chow? How are you? Something with Blood Moon sounds like a good idea. 99, 99 Soul Rings. Is that actually a deck? Uh, Joyra Storm. Ooh, yeah, Son of Yagmoth. That would be a good one. Jaleva. That sounds like another good one. Carrick Doomsday. Tomer always plays Doomsday decks. Oh, I do love locking people out of the game. And I do love... <laughs> that was like the worst Scrappy Scrounger activation I've ever seen. Although, speaking of opponents doing funny things... This week's Against Odds, if you follow my Twitter, you might have seen a, a bit of a spoiler with musical backing. Wow, Pawn's just playing right into this dupe foretold. Do they really think we're... What are they expecting to happen here? Uh, so... 
yes, Starfield gets back Trial of Ambition, which kills your Chain Whirler. I don't think our opponent has any idea what to do. Maybe they just can't win. Uh, I guess Thought sees you just to be safe. Take Chandra. God. <laughs> yes! Yes! That's what the deck can do. That is the power of the deck. That was as good as it's bad. That was that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Okay. Now we're seeing what this deck can do. And that felt really good. Like, that was just a absolute domination of our opponent's deck. Uh, but yes, yes, uh... <laughs> There's some funny plays from the opponent coming up on this week's uh, Against the Odds, so keep it out for that. You might have seen a, a sneak peek on my Twitter with some uh, some musical backing. <laughs> I'm still laughing. Oh, oops. I'm still laughing about that. It was that was like a few days ago, and I don't know if I've ever seen. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen anything that funny. Oh, opponents, opponents, opponents. Uh, so we'll bring in. All right, opponents playing. A deck that apparently gets wrecked by our deck. Uh, I think we bring in Nyx Fleece Ram. Dawn of Hope actually seems somewhat reasonable in this matchup. I think we go down Lunar Force in this matchup. Lunar Force is best against control style decks. Um, in Creature Lander Planeswalker. Oath of Kai is good. We gotta make sure we can kill... Chandra. Maybe we sneak in Detention Spheres? Try it like that. <laughs> All right. Trial better than Oath of Liliana here because of lower CMC. Yeah, the deck really needs two mana plays. What is a win condition of this deck? Uh, eventually, other than just like looping Doom Foretold, eventually Starfield, once we have five or more enchantments, we turn all of our enchantments into creatures uh, with power toughness equal to their converted mana cost. So all of a sudden, like our Oath of Kaya's and Doom Foretold's and Starfield's altered into big beaters and we just smash our opponent with one big attack. Anyone know the rest of the MTG secret layer packs will be showed? I believe one an hour for the rest of uh, today. We're what, two in? In, plus we saw the cat one so there should be four more so i think the next one should be 10 15 minutes from now i will i will try to pull them up on i will try to pull them up on a uh, stream once we see them so we can look at them who's coming up next oh nox all right yeah we could uh i will pull it up on stream and we will watch nox oh wait 1 30 oh there's there's three come wow we get to see them all on stream all right well remind me remind me once they come up and we will we will do a a live a live look in as they come up so next should be Knox in about 10 minutes or 15 minutes about it for boating ruins and dress all right sure uh, we saw the, yes, we saw the foil snow-covered basics. You can have any MTG cardboard in paper you, wait, you can have any MTG card in paper you want anytime you wish, but in order to have that ability, every time you look in the mirror, you see yourself as Gaddictique. <laughs> would, you, would you accept this fate? Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to say... I'm going to say, wait, so, wait, would I actually look like Gaddick Teague, or I would just see myself as Gaddick Teague, and other people would see me uh, as normal me? I think that's an important part of that question, but it thought seizes. Bitter Possum is non-foil, by the way, thank God. Yeah, the foils, uh, when when Amy opened them, they did look, uh, they did look a little curly. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm fine with that, sure. I don't care, yeah. I, uh, yeah, I would see myself as, I mean, I guess it would make it hard to, like, comb my beard properly, uh, or my hair. That would be a drawback, but, I mean, I don't, I don't really care what I look like in the mirror. <laughs> sure. Uh, the only problem is I don't play that much, uh, Paper Magic, so I don't know if I get enough value. If I, I guess I would start playing more Paper Magic because I had that ability. Come on, Trial of Ambition. Well, all right. Iskanta's not bad. Play Iskanta. Pass the turn. 
Three cards in the graveyard. This Albus Fighter is tough. Oh, okay. I think we're doing it. I think we're doing it. Pwn it. Sell some Black Lotuses and hire so. <laughs> yeah, that's that's. I mean, I guess if you could sell the cards too. Oh man, then you then you gotta do it, right? You would still look normal to everyone else, and you would be infinitely rich because you could just sell all the cards. That seems like a pretty good deal. Pwn it. Gonna get in. We are taking a beating. Opponent hits us. Uh, very un, uh, very very for the thirty fourth month. Good lord, welcome back to the fishbowl. Thank you for your subscription. Big super cheer for you. Here's my CDH from Lab Maniacs. I use in my main Plato con controlling left to draw cards. Ooh, thank you, very and welcome back to the fishbowl. Big super cheer for you. That uh, that sounds sweet. Sounds like a kind of deck I would enjoy playing. Tassiger opponent. All right, sacrifices. We untap. We search for Ascanta. Hmm. I think we keep this. Oh, do we keep it? We so we shock ourselves to twelve. We bounce Bowmat Courier. We draw a card. Ooh, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Yeah, I think we keep it. So keep to fairy, godless shrine, untapped, run out to fairy. Reset Bowmat Courier. I play a deck that beats down with a single creature after destroying all lands and constantly wrathing. Oh, what a what is a single creature? Alright, we draw a land. Well, pass the turn. So next turn, we can answer the Chandra. And then, okay. I mean, maybe we're in okay-ish shape. Opponent. Gonna go with Thought Seize, or Duress, rather. Uh-huh. We're gonna flip this as content before long. Have you tried the Pioneer Hammer deck you showcase in the Instant Deck deck? We have not played Pioneer Hammer yet. That's one that we still need to play. Seth, if you could have infinite copies of every card ever made, but they were all Chinese counterfeits, would you do it? Because I need to unload these things in a hurry. Huh, no, they don't that doesn't really have much value to me. I'm not a not a supporter. Wait. Did our opponent take down Chandra and not flashback? Huh. Okay, interesting decision. Sure. Combat. To fairy. Face. Why did they not flash back their duress? That was very strange. Opponent. Yeah, hits us. We drop to 11. Opponent passes. Is Kanta. Ugh, millet. We draw an island. Fabled Passage. Crack Fabled Passage. Take a... Plades. Tonos for the 23rd month. And Zuminator for the second month. Welcome you both back to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big Soup's here for our new subscriber. Uh, Yeah, maybe it's like a Moto thing? That is definitely strange. Well, we are going to cast a cast out. Get rid of the Chandra. And see what happens. I mean, we need some life gain. We need to hit like an Oath of Kaya, I think, to start buffering our life total. Oh, you're right. We still had Teferi. Our opponent, they need to do kill Teferi first. You're very much correct. I did that on Arena before. <laughs> I learned that on Arena. That is a that is a good call, Timo Kills. Vote it. Yeah, they needed to Bowmat Courier kill to Fairy, and then they could have done it. So here comes the Couriers. Million cards. We drop to nine. Ooh, can we stabilize? We get to flip his Kanta. Opponent passes. His Kanta. Ooh. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, uh, no, I guess not. That means we don't get to flip this turn. 
We gotta keep it though. Playing island. Eldest reborn. Little expensive to get rid of a Bowmat Courier, but the Edict effect means they can't just sack. Okay, Wild Slash. Are they just gonna sack them all? Stomp. Ugh. All right. Come on. Come on, Zagat. Zagat. Whew! Okay. <laughs> Pass the turn. Ugh. Opponent's gonna draw these cards, though. Oh, I don't know if we're gonna stabilize. It's so close. Uh, why doesn't the deck run history to try to get some early blockers? Mostly curve concerns. Opponent. Bone Crusher Giant. Combat. Hits us. Down to four. Another card under Bomat Courier. All right. Well, Aldis Reborn makes our opponent discard. One, two. All right, we're going to mill Golden Egg. Mill Golden Egg. Transform. We draw a Godless Shrine. Opponent has to discard. Play a Plains. Oath of Kaya. Kill Bone Crusher. Pass the turn. Up to seven, but our opponent's going to draw four this turn. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Starfield and Lunar Force gives me some Madrotha Decree of Silence vibes. The lock can be pretty effective. Are they cashing it in now? Wow, okay. Opponent draws three. Draws another card. Four lands. We're at seven. Plays a land. Can we stay alive? What do you got, opponent? Oh, this is this is the turn. We get to reanimate something. Opponent. Soul's Mage. Sure, that doesn't immediately kill us. And Scrap Heap also doesn't immediately kill us. An opponent's passing? Oh my goodness, I think we're doing it, chat. I think we're doing it. Spin the wheel. That is Kanta Wheel. Starfield of Nyx. Okay. Untap. Reanimate. Teferi. To fairy, bounce scrap heap scrounger. Oh, oath of Kaya. Kill soul scar mage. Go to ten. Shock ourselves to eight. Starfield of Nyx with oath of Kaya loop. That's three life a turn. I think that does it. That's what the deck can do. Oh, pass the turn. Oh, that was so good. That was so good. Now we got the loop set up. Now we got to set up. We got Doom Foretold in the Graveyard. We have two Oath of Kaya's. We have an Eldest Reborn. I don't think we can lose from here. Opponent, Chain Whirler. Sure, pick us. Pick us away, opponent. Pick us away. Kills our Teferi. Oh, I don't think our opponent knows how in trouble they are. Starfield. We will get back Oath of Kaya. Yes, please. We will keep doing this forever. Uh-huh. Uh, we'll keep an Ophikaya. We'll kill Chain Whirler. See you later. We will play... Oh, man. Trial of Ambition. Whew! Get rid of that Scrap Heap Scrounger. An opponent scoops it up and... Whew! That felt very strong. You came at just the right time, Hebrew Hammer. Whew! That felt really good. Maybe this deck actually is functional now. That was a great performance for the deck. About as good as it gets. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, okay. We're learning. We're learning what the deck can do. That's something we did do at all last stream. Starfield is sweet. Uh, is the Nox reveal up? That is, a, that is a question. Let's see. Uh, not yet. I haven't seen it yet. 
If you see it, let me know and we'll look at it. Tree for all, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soup cheer for our new subscriber. Yeah, that's one of the upsides of it, is it does keep us below uh, below the the threshold if we need to. Uh, today they are revealing the, oh no. I'm like completely spacing on the name at the moment. Uh, secret, secret, uh, secret whatever. <laughs> We've already seen, we've already seen part of them. All right. Secret lair. Secret lair. There should be a, there should be a reveal from Knox any minute. Box just posted? Ooh. Lunar force dot hand. All right. We'll try this. Removal. Removal. Counter, counter. Swamp for our opponent. Oh boy. Well, not as excited about Lunar Force not hand now. Blood Soap Champion. Temple of Silence. Scry. We will keep a swamp past the turd. Ponent Adepts. This is going to be close. Ponent plays a land. Looter Scooter. Ponent. Yeah, it's in. Yup. Yeah. Hits us. <sighs> Uh, play a land, Trial of Ambition. Uh, Smuggler's Copter is an issue. I expect Smuggler's Copter is gonna get a uh, gonna get banned at some point. Pass the turn. Is it possible to get Starfield Mystic into this deck? It is possible. The problem is it turns on all of our opponent's removal spells. So even though it's possible, we uh, it just ends up dying very often. So that's kind of the, the problem. We don't really have any targets for removal spells. So one of the upsides of the deck is we blank like fatal pushes and shocks and so forth. Hey Seth, do you think it's possible you guys could play a round of Oathbreaker? I'm super interested in getting my peers in the format. Need some arguments to get their attention. Oh, we did the live game from GP Vegas. Unfortunately, it's not actually possible to play the format on Magic Online. Uh, so it'll probably be a while before there's any more Oathbreaker videos. You can eat anything you want, no matter the price, but for it to happen, hmm. Opponent discarded a land. <sighs> Copter. How do we do this? Hmm. 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 Aye. Not the greatest, uh, not the greatest spot. Uh, you need to accept Kaf the Hammer is your new roommate. Introduce it to your family and friend. Nodi is angry. Sometimes roast people for free. Would you make the deal? <laughs> I always like Kaf. Kaf seems like he'd probably be a, a cool, a cool roommate. Is there any plans for another Commander Clash live on the channels? Uh, usually there's one between seasons, so I expect we'll do another one, but it'll probably be uh, sometime like this winter. What deck would you recommend for first trying to get into Pioneer if I started playing Magic in Hour of Devastation? Oh, uh, Hour... Uh, hmm. So start an Hour of Devastation... I'm trying to think what from that era is competitive. I don't think we can Lunar Force. We shock ourselves, then we just get beaten down, and our opponent gets Blood Soak Champion. I think we're better off playing Teferi. Yeah, these two Lunar Forces are so bad this matchup. Bouncing, passing. Yeah, Lunar Force, I'm almost wondering if it should be in the sideboard. I think it depends on the matchup, but in this matchup, it's just, it's super bad. It's like really, 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 really bad. Nox video is up. All right, let's see if we can, if you have a link to the Nox video, I don't see it on his Twitter. So if you have a link to uh, the Nox video, stick it in the chat and we will look at what the new cards are. 
Yeah, maybe some sort of, like, Scarab God control deck. That might be a good starting point if you're from uh, Hour of Devastation era. So opponent kills Teferi. Blood-soaked champion. Land, copter. <sighs> yep. Well, we untap. <laughs> Dawn of Hope. I'll play a Swamp. Play Golden Egg. Yeah, this feels tough. Draw a card. Dawn of Hope. I think maybe it's because we have a double Lunar Force hand, and it's just so... It's so bad in this matchup. We have the wrong hand for this matchup, by far. Hey, welcome, uh, Devil Mitch. Opponent, yeah, loots, hits us for a billion. Ugh, yeah, 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 yeah. Not the cards we wanted for this matchup. All right, once we go to sideboarding, we'll look at uh, we'll look at the the Nox cards from uh, Secret Lair. Opponent hits us. I assume we're going to sideboarding pretty quickly here. Discard Scrap Heap. Thought, please take a Lunar. F Ugh. Ugh. Maybe Lunar Force should just not be in the deck. Maybe Lunar Force is just straight up bad. Opponent. Like, or not in the main deck. It should probably just be in the sideboard. So far, we've sideboarded out every single match we've played. And I don't think it has been good in any single match we've played. Well, Shambling Vent. Go. Not playing Lunar Force, because it is really bad. Opponent. <laughs> Why do you never get notifications? Ah, uh, do you have notifications turned on? Opponent. Scrap Heap Scrounger again. Gets to crew. Smuggler's Copter is pretty broken. Yeah. All right. Sure. Well, thankfully, we take these horrible looter forces out. <laughs> they're good at control matchups, but they're not good in the, like, oh, I play Bloodstone Championship. Uh, champion, you counter it. I get it back to my hand. It comes back for free. Like, this is not a matchup where Lunar Force is even a little tiny bit close to being playable. Not even a smidge. All right, let's see. Let's see what the Nox cards look like. Briefing a story of life. Secret lair, restless in peace. Does it food the shiny? Uh, for those 31, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank like you. First time's up. Big soup's here for you. I'm a go. All right. From its uncommon. So this is a gold gory thug. A card that's been upshifted. That's pretty sweet art, I guess. Rarity. But joining it. It's a much more awesome crowd favorite. Life from the Loam. Ooh, is that is super cool, Lomar. And last, but not least, it is fast, and it's not a beast. A blood ghast. It will feast. Okay. These three cards together. Those are pretty sweet. Form a panorama. Wait, together they form... Ooh. All right. Those look those look super sweet. And they actually have some value. I think all together, let's see. Life from the loam is about 15 bucks. Bloodgast is 11. Gogari Thug is not worth much anymore, I don't think. 2. All right. So it's almost $30 of value for the original printings. All right, so Nick's Fleece Rams in. Uh, Detention Spheres in. I don't know if Ley Line's actually worth it. We might not actually have the room for it. We can go down Blood Fast. Definitely go down these Lunar Forces that make me want to wanna cry. Non-artifact creatures seems bad. Creature lander planeswalker. So that doesn't actually get rid of copter. Yeah, the special editions are coming out hot and heavy these days. All right, try it like let's try it like that. Yeah, get rid of Aldous Reborn and Lunar Force. Bring in Nick's Fleece Ram, a little bit more removal and detention sphere. All right, we get to play first. Yeah, Secret Lair is definitely interesting. Hmm. Sand does not feel great. We can't cast his Kanta. I guess we can off Golden Egg. 
We don't have any removal. Hmm. Yeah, it's Mulligan. All right, well, this also does not feel super great, but <laughs> Godless Ride to the bottom. Tablet's Islet, Scry. Opponent keeping their full full hand. We will put... Well, we'll keep Teferi, I guess. Pass the turn. MTG by AJP. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soups here for our new subscriber. Well, it's Kanta. Run it out there. Start the value trade. Pass the turn. Never mulligan to the Thought Seize deck. Yeah. Our opening edge was pretty bad, though. Opponent, Foreboding Ruins. Combat. Hits us. Down to... 18. Oh, and nothing? Okay. As Kanta. Well, let's keep Teferi. Play a land. Teferi number one. Bounce Bloodsoak champion draw card. Pass the turn. Slow him down. Slow him down. Teferi achieved. What would be the best way to submit a deck list idea for you for upcoming Commander Clash? Easiest way is just to email it to me. SaffronOlive at mtggoldfish.com. Opponent passes. You can also leave deck lists in the chat, but they don't always survive after uh, after the stream. Yeah, let's just golden egg draw a card. Shambling vent. Pass the turn. Opponent's off to a much slower start this game. Opponent adapts. They must have like rankles. Castle Lockwood. There is a rankle. Opponent. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Gets in. Hits us. Hits to fairy. What are the choices? Each player discards a card. Hmm. Uh, discard a planes. We untap. Is Kanta. Mill the land. Ugh. Um play to fairy. Bounce rankle. Shambling vent. Pass the turn. Ugh. Tough, 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 tough matchup. These hasty threats just keep coming. Uh, have you discussed Demonic Pact with Doom Foretold? Found it to be most fun and proactive build. Uh, we have not discussed Demonic Pact, Doom Foretold. Opponent gets in, kills to fairy, hits us. Untap. Hmm, okay. Yeah, but this comes back and they have Rankle. I mean, I guess we do keep it, but it's not as great as it seems. Trial of Ambition, kill Bloodsoak Champion. Trial of Ambition, kill Glorybringer. Pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Maybe we are supposed to bring in Ley Lines here. Be oh. Thought sees. Maybe we are supposed to bring in ley lines here because of uh, because of Bloodsoak Champion being good against us. They need another untap land to wrinkle champion. Yeah, they're gonna empty our hand here, I assume. We do get to flip is Kanta. Maybe we can find maybe we can find like an oath of Kaya. There's Wrangle. Yup, opponent combat. Hits us. Down to eight.
there goes our star field. Opponent discards another Blood Soak champion. Oh, we untap. Iskanta. Graveyard. Flip. Draw. More Iskantas. Well. Uh, all right. Trial of Ambition's not bad. That at least gets rid of this rankle for now. Pass the turn. We're hanging on by a literal thread. Found it. Oh! We can't catch a break. We can't catch a break. Found it. It's us. To four. We untap. We draw. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, Doom Foretold is a good draw. Doom Foretold. As Kanta. Pass the turn. If we die to this, I'm going to be sick. If they have another flying hasty threat. Uh, doom foretold. Phone it. Sacks it. No rank old, no glory bringer. These hasty threats are really good. Phone it. What you got? What you got? Passing? Oh, I like the sounds of passing. Oh, okay. Opponent's passing. is Kanta triggers. We will mill the land. We will not transform. Doom foretold. We sack trial of ambition. Play fabled passage. Ugh. Do we shambling vent? Let's just pass. Pass the turn. We can sack the egg, go up to seven. Doom foretold is going to make our opponent discard. Crag fabled passage. Get a planes. One, two, three. All right. Yep. Pass the turn. Pote it. Oh, I think this turn we're going to is Conta Golden Egg. That actually gains us more life and we don't get hit by removal. That's unfortunate. Well, Doom Foretold triggers. Opponent's got a discard. We draw to Fairy. Oh, gain a bit of life. <laughs> this is so close. This is ridiculous. Found it. Glory bringer. Combat. Attacks. Well, we need to sack golden egg. Gain some life. Drop to three. Oh, man. We're holding on. Maybe. Down to three. As Kanta finds Golden Egg. Untap. As Kanta. Mill the land. No transform. One, two. One, two. Huh, all right, so to fairy. Oh, man, this is so, this is so tough again. We can to fairy bounce trial, but then we're dead to another hasty threat. I guess. I almost think we just bounce Glory Bringer. Hey, what's up, Zanfast? How are you? 
if we bounce Glorybringer, play Golden Egg, gain life with Golden Egg, then we don't die to a single threat. Yeah, let's bounce Glorybringer. Starfield. Golden Egg. Draw a card. Go to combat. Attack. Hit our opponent down to 14. Pass the turn. Oh, this is so close. Pwned it. No, we're not bouncing the night token. <laughs> oh, what do you got about it? Glory Bringer returns. Opponent goes to combat. Attacks. Well, sack the egg. For life. Up to six, down to two. Untap. As Kanta. Mill the land. Do not transform. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ugh. Are we going to end up a turd short? Take up to fairy. Play new to fairy. Keep new to fairy. Now we have to bounce trial. If they have another hasty threat, I guess they got us. Play trial. Get rid of glory bringer. Next fleece ram. All right, no rankle, no glory bringer. No rankle, no glory bringer. No Coligan's command. Oh, we've been dropped. Yeah, we died a shock, unfortunately. What do you got, opponent? Many cards in hand. Rabble Master. Well, that does not by itself beat us. Knight of the Eben Legion. Neither does that. Knight of the Eben Legion. Okay. Okay, we're in it. Out of cards. Oh, we're staying alive. Pwned it. Makes a dork. It must attack into our knight. Oh, we might be doing it. We might be doing it. I can't believe we're going to win this. The main combo is Starfield getting back stuff like Doom Foretold every turn. Block. Kill it. Untap. Gain a life up to three. As Kanta. No. We will not put that in our graveyard. We will not transform. Deadweight Rabble Master. Detention Sphere. Knight of the Eben Legions. Take up to Fairy. Dawn of Hope. Oh my god. No glory bringer, no rankle. No glory bringer, no rankle. No glory bringer, no flurankle. Draws a card. Okay. Down to eight. Oh. Opponent's passing. Oh, I think we win now. I think we win. Opponent passes. Nick's fleece ram. Up to four. Um... draw a card actually no I don't think we draw a card no it's Kanta ugh graveyard no transform starfield then this should be lethal this should do it 
Teferi protects us. Oh my goodness. Starfield, turn them all on. Go to combat. Swing them at ya. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. That was good. That was good. That was good. Hey, Seth, I made my deck at Goldfish to show you. Oh, let me see, uh, Beligi. Wow. Okay, the deck can do some sweet things. I cannot believe we stabilized and won that. That was, oh, that was ridiculously, uh, ridiculously close. Wow. We got there just barely, but we did. All right. The deck, it's working much better than the version we played last week. That's for sure. Mono red Scalica? <laughs> that looks uh, that looks fun. Valica, kind of a, a scready Valica deck. Does Underworld Coinsmith fit in your 75? Huh, I know that's an Orzhov two-drop enchantment creature. I don't remember exactly what it does. Uh, whenever an enchantment comes into play, you gain a life, can pay a white and a black, and a life, each opponent loses a life. So I think this deck really doesn't want creatures. One of the upsides of, I mean, Nyx Fleece Ram in the sideboard, I guess, is an exception. Uh, I would assume that this is probably better than Coinsmith at a similar job. But for the most part, we want to not have creatures because creatures uh, leave us in a position where hmm, where uh, we turn on our opponent's removal. What do you think about Leyline of the Void, chat? Should we be playing Leyline of the Void? Metal Spaz for the ninth month. Thank you so much uh, for the kind words and for the resub. Welcome back to the Fishbowl. Big Soup's here for you. What do you think? Should we should we be bringing in Leyline? We've seen Scrounger. Cole against Command. I guess we'd be going down like Thought Seas for Leyline. Hmm. Let's go Soul Ransom three ley lines. Actually, maybe we should. Maybe Imprisoned to the Moon is mostly better. All right, we'll go one ley lay. Let's try it like that. Uh, why don't you play Authority of the Consoles from Kaladash? Could be another good uh, sideboard option. Ooh. All right. I actually kind of like this hand. This hand looks like it could be good. Opponent, Swamp, bad. Knight of the Eben Legion. Passes. Well, Godless Shrine, untapped. Kill it. One down. Pass the turn. We got a lot of removal in this hand. Opponent, Blood Crypt. Uh, our deck benefits from having enchantments, so in this deck it makes uh, a lot more sense. Oh my god. Hmm. No, Godless Shrine to the top. Copter is an issue! We've seen Copter be an issue in game one. There's the Scrap Heap Scrounger. Opponent gets to start looting. Ugh. Yeah, that's a, that is a huge hassle. Opponent, Copter hits us. Loots away a fatal push, which probably shouldn't be in the deck. Plays a uh, thought sees. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. DJ McBooty, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for the your subscription. Big scoops here for our new subscriber. Uh, I mean, you could play Dance of the Mans. I'm not sure how necessary it is because of Starfield, which kind of does the same thing. Uh, is this Legacy Enchantress? Where are the Sarah's Egg Doves? <laughs> uh, not, not quite. Not quite. Similar in some ways. Ugh. Man, I wish we could answer a dang smuggler's copter, but apparently we can't ever. <sighs> oh my goodness. Well... Imprisoned in the moon. Pass the turn. 
Uh, Smuggler's Copter Navorsky. Welcome to the Fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Blue Soup's here for our new subscriber. So we give our opponent a land. We deal with Scrap Beep. Opponent. <sighs> Knight of the Even Legion. Yeah, this is the issue. Both of our losses, 100% Smuggler's Copter. Opponent goes to combat, gets in. I mean, our way of trying to beat Smuggler's Copter is by keeping creatures off the battlefield, but it's hard to do because Copter gets to loot away our opponent's bad cards. Wow, loose away Hazaret and draws them into good cards. Opponent. Thought seizes. Takes Doom foretold. And passes. Well. Oath of Kaya. Kill Knight of the Eben Legion. Go to 13. Shambling Vent. Pass the turd. Imprisoned cannot hit artifacts, unfortunately. It is a very oddly restrictive card. Planeswalkers, lands creatures. There's a Hazaret. And a land. Uh, we got looted. Opponent. Combat gets in. Hits us. Well, we play Trial of Ambition. Opponent loses Hazaret. Play Escanta. Play a Swamp. No top decks. No top decks. Opponent. Show us a land. Show us a land. Opponent's passing. Okay. Escanta. Reveals. We do have some cast outs and detention spheres. Mill the land for sure. Well. Shambling vent. Go to combat. Hit ya. Gain back a bit of life. Shambling vent. Okay. Pass the turn. Pwn it. Untaps. What do they find? Knight of the Even Legion. Returns. Uh oh. That fires up copter. Let's them get rid of the land. Huh. Yeah, we have. We have, uh, we have cast outs. Opponent. Oh. All right. There's the creature for the crew egg. Copter gets in. Does coptery stuff. Loots away a dead land. Yep. Oh, copter is so busted. It's it's definitely going to end up banned in this format. Was lucky into getting a peer, uh, Pioneer and Moto. Was wondering what deck you would go with with a hundred uh, hundred tick budget. Ooh. Oh, that's a... <laughs> Lane line of the void. Well, we are milling that. Play Donifope. Ah, <sighs> pass the turn. Ugh, not like this. Ugh. Boy. Copter needs to be banned. Um, opponent definitely should have sat Copter instead of Hazaret. They couldn't crew it. Ay, yay, 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 yay. Yay, 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 yay. Ugh, uh, uh, uh. Well, that was close. I'm a little sad that we, uh, that we didn't win. Boy, we've had a couple... The deck feels pretty powerful. We've had a couple of very frustrating losses uh, against some of the, the more uh, broken decks of the format. But... Ay -ay 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 -ay. Yeah, Copter is an issue. I mean, it's especially an issue for, uh, for our deck, but I think it's just an issue in general. Before we go to the next round, a reminder that our sponsor tonight is Card Kingdom. Uh, and if you need some Magic the Gathering cards... You can get them over at carkingdom.com. Even uh, grab a Saffron Olive sticker if you'd like to. So thank you to them for supporting the stream. Well, that was close. Depressing, but close. All right. Spin the wheel. Huh. So 
we had a pretty impressive winning game too. Aren't there flash enchantments that could be played as removal? Um, I don't think there's any especially playable ones. We're going to keep this. I, uh, I'm a little afraid we just won't draw any lands, but if we draw even one land, we get to our doom foretolds in our star fields, and that's kind of where we want to be. While watery grave untapped, thought sees you. See what our opponent's doing. Uh, opponent. Once upon a time. Yeah, you can't really play things that you can't sacrifice to doom foretold, I don't think. Well, that is not a hand we're especially concerned about. This is a kind of hand that is a uh, a good example of why we don't especially want stuff like Starfield of Nyx. Because it's just, or not Starfield, uh, Starfield Mystic. It's just so easy and common for it to die. Land. All right, that's good. That's a land. Well, pass the turn. Okay. We're getting to where we want to be. We're getting there. We just got to keep hitting our land drops. Phone it. Finds carry added. That's a... A smidge obnoxious. Opponent passes. I'll play a planes. Play to fairy. Tick it up. Pass the turn. All right, this sets us up for Doom for Toad number one. We're close. We hit our land drops like the like we needed. Opponent plays a mana confluence. Follow up. Seriously. All right, that's a questing beast. Oh, well, that was a good draw. Sure. Well, Godless Shrine, untapped. Doom foretold. Mmm. Mmm, that questing boost was so bad for us. We've seen a lot of questing beasts in this format. Like, a, a very high number. Pout it. Get a sack the carry added, I assume. Oh, Quasi Beast was like the worst. Oh, no. Come on now. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my lord. Oh, we have been cursed in some of our losses. I swear to God. Oh. I mean, Teferi's just dying. It doesn't do anything. Oh, my goodness. Oh. We saw the hand. Like, we saw it. You can see it right there. <laughs> Those draws are so insane. That's exactly what happened in our first round, where we thought seized our opponent's hand literal blanks. Literal blanks. And their first top deck was a Mana Ram spell. Second top deck was Hasty Questing Beast for turn three. Third top deck was Siege Rhino. The odds of that are, like, so slim. I don't think... I think the deck is actually decent. I feel like we've just gotten super, super unlucky in some of these matches. Uh, I think we've had multiple rounds where we have just had... Our opponents have, like, absurd top decks. Like... Hard to overstate how well they have run in some of these rounds. Ugh. That was... Oh, that was especially frustrating. Murderous Rider works well with the standard version of the deck. I don't know if it's going to pioneer. Kill spell. Uh, plus body. Can block. Possibly removal. Yeah. I mean, maybe. I mean, no, we saw it after Once Upon a Time. After Once Upon a Time, Potent's Head was lands in fatal push and it ended with a turn four kill which is uh a, a, just a tiny bit unfortunate i feel hmm all right so we will uh make a a couple of small changes and run it like that What do you think about Simic Urza after the GP? Uh, I think it's uh, the best deck in modern. All right, we're on the play. All right, I mean, we'll keep this. Land, go. Opponent. 
I mean, Fraxian Scriptures is a is a sweeper. There's once upon a time. How about Ravenous Chupacabra? Yeah, probably a little uh, a little slow. Opponent has Thought Seize for turn one. Well, might be time for the the mana screw. Takes Golden Egg. Well, we draw another Golden Egg. Can we draw land, Magic Gods? Can we draw land? Okay, there's a land. That's good. Kadelni, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber, Potet. Um, treasure map. Maybe. It's also kind of slow. Pona plays Scavenging Ooze and passes. Well, play a Plains. Detention Sphere. Get rid of Ooze. Pass the turn. All right, opponent. This is, this is, uh, this is seeming a little bit more, a little bit more where we want to be. For you, does Modern need a ban? I mean, I think something from the Urza deck is going to have to get, uh, get banned at some point. I think that's just far and away, well, maybe far and away is a bit of a stretch, but I think it is and has been the best deck in the format for a long time, and it, it's arguably too good. I wonder why they put the May card in det uh, causing detentions for your opponent. Another thought sees. Takes Doom Foretold. Plays Zombie Grounds. Tapped. Hmm. Well, Watery Grave. Untapped. Shambling fan. Get it. Hit ya. Down to 11 past the turn. Uh, no ban announcement yet, but I'm not expecting any bannings this week from what they said last week. Wow. Slaughter games. Okay. Well, that's not great for us. S the turn before we can cast our Starfield, too. All right. Well, we'll see. That is definitely bad. <laughs> Found it. Yeah. Takes our star fields. Passes. Well, all right. That does increase our odds of flooding out and drawing lands. Shambling vent. Go to combat. Hits you down to eight. Godless ride tapped. Pass the turn. Uh, guess it may helps when recursive indiscriminately. Uh, yeah, I guess that's true. If you accidentally are forced to like reanimate it or something. Opponent passing. Well, I can't. They couldn't have left in random like targeted removal, right? That doesn't seem very likely. Shambling vet. Go to combat. Attack. Opponent. Down to six. Shambling vet. Pass the turn. All right, opponent. <laughs> Maybe we can get there with our vets. It's possible. I'm so tired of people calling for bads all the time. It's definitely a very different world than the past, as far as bands are concerned. That's the uh, that's for sure. Coligan's command blows up Golden Egg, makes us discard a land. Opponent, tap land, and pass it. Well, that's not the worst. Shambling vent. If we can tap properly. We might actually just get there with Shambling Vents. It seems like it's possible. Shambling Vent. Go to combat. Attack you. Down to three. Pass the turn. Pwn it. Potato David. Welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big Soup's here for our new subscriber. What you got, Pwn it? One, two, three, four. Siege Rhino. Keeping our opponent alive-ish. One, two, three. Imprison in the moon. I 
Hollowed Fountain, untapped. Get in there. Hit you back to three. <laughs> Can we close it out through a slaughter games? I'm usually against bads. Rebalancing cards like they do sometimes in Hearthstone would be nice. Probably too much for a paper game. Yeah, I think that is the, the big issue. Is it's just not super practical in the world of paper magic. Well, play a land. Hmm. Keep to fairy. Phyrexian scriptures. Pass the turn. This has been a very interesting game. Other games use erratas to balance and it's super annoying. Yeah, I think changing cards is probably a bad idea in in a game that has paper cards. Busting Benji, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soup's cheer for our new subscriber. Kill carry added. We draw to fairy. We will play to fairy. We could go for the win, but I think this is better. Play to fairy. They tried power lover Reddas. Yeah, they were not very popular either. Okay, abrupt decay gets back Rhino. Well, we get to fairy. To fairy. Bounces Phyrexian scriptures. We replay Phyrexian scriptures. Pass the turn. <sighs> yeah, I don't think it's I don't think it's worth going uh for it there. I think it's too risky to to go for it. We would have got super killed by that siege rhino. So I think going the to fairy more removal plan probably safer. Also, a single copy or two of Dance of the Mans could be good with Bring Beth Oath of Kaya's and others. Good life gain, just a thought. An opponent scoops it up. Cannot beat it. Cannot beat it. Cannot beat it. Oh, I feel like this deck is so close. It's so close. It's really cool and unique, and it's so close to being really powerful. We got a new donation for Rome. For Rome. Uh... Jikaru, Jikaru, ten dollar donation. Thanks for being so positive and friendly. So much to the community. I really appreciate the content. Well, Jikaru, thank you for the donation, and definitely thank you for the kind words as well. Definitely appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The deck it, it is fancy. Chad did put Seth can animate vents, pay for scriptures without attacking. Oh, you're saying. You're saying the punt is we didn't put a counter on our on shambling vet? Okay. That's that might be true. I thought you were saying the punt was that we needed to uh needed to just fire up shambling vents and attack into what ended up being a siege rhino, where we would have got super blown out. Uh but yeah, if the if the punt was not activating shambling vents and then tapping it to cast to cast scriptures to put a counter on it. That that very well, uh, that is probably true. I would agree with that. Hmm. Do we want to change anything? This might be as good as it gets. Fall the Thran is kind of sweet. But I don't think we can bring in Leyline. We do have the scriptures. Huh. I don't know what we'd cut for it. Lunar Force, I guess, could also be sweet in this matchup. Ugh. All right, run it, run it back. That worked fine that way. A counter on the vent needed to wait a turn for scriptures. Oh, then, then I, then I don't know what the punt was. Yeah, all right, we got a lot of removal. 
Opponent, it's not big rounds. Tapped. Passes. And shambling vents. Go. I mean, we got Edict into Wrath. This seems pretty pretty reasonable. Does our opponent have once upon a time? They do, of course. Do you still think Do you still think you're getting better or do you think you fit your peak? Uh at at playing magic? Uh I think I'm definitely still getting better. I hope I am still getting better. Trial of ambition. See you later, carry added. No ram for you, opponent. See you later, see you later. I mean, I like to think that you're always, like, growing and improving throughout life. In theory, anyway. Opponent passes. Uh, let's just... Is Kanta. Shambling that. Go. I feel like we're in okay shape here. Opponent. Once upon a time again. I was calling it a punt because you could have put counters on vent and swing for lethal on the next turn before or after the board wipe. Okay, opponent has a rhino. Fabled passage. Now, here comes rhino, I assume. Yup. So we get rhinoed. Down to 17. Opponent passes. We untap. Is Kanta. Ooh. No, we would not like to put that in our graveyard. We would like to cast a Doom Foretold. It's coming together, chat. It's coming together. Doom Foretold. Peace out, Rhinorino. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sack that, I say. Yes, Doom Foretold is very powerful. Whew. Have you watched The Crown? I have never seen The Crown. Is it good? Opponent, passing. And scooping! Scooping! The power of the deck! Doom foretold! Oh! We're, we're doing it, chat! We're up to two and two! It hasn't been pretty, always. But I feel like this deck is actually kind of there. It's there. We might feed feed the children. We might. We might. Our opponent scoops it up. Oh, yeah, Doom foretold is a, a definitely a sweet card. I'm actually... I might be working on a, a, a budget Doom foretold deck. I know we played... I know we played like the Esper or the the prison deck, the white black prison deck, but I kind of think that discard has potential in standard right now. That that's one of my theories. The three two dream, the two three dream is also alive. Do we have new secret layers? I thought there was supposed to be another one already. I thought a. Uh, I thought there was supposed to be one at the half hour mark, but I can't remember. I can't remember whose it was. Well, if you see, if you see the latest one, let me know. Hey, what's up, Mr. Paladin? How are you? Oh, Crims is the next one up. I just saw someone predict that it's ancestral visions with four different arts. <laughs> Yeah, well, we will we will watch it when it comes up. I'm, I guess that this is decent for a Starfield deck, but I think an enchantment deck using Sigil of Sleep would be much better. Or wait, uh, uh, Sigil Sigil of the Empty Throne, the one that makes angels. I think Sigil of Sleep is like a weird old common Urza's Destiny card. All right, we're on the play. Can't keep that. Man, these Lunar Forces. First thing we're going to do if we make changes to this deck at some point is get rid of Lunar Force from the main deck. I think Lunar Force at the sideboard is fine. I don't think Lunar Force in the main deck is worth it, though. I think Lunar Force main deck, no way, no how. Temple. Yeah, we'll keep Teferi. Sure, pass the turn. Updated to win, but not losses. I like your stuff. Oh, I thought it was <laughs> I thought I updated both, but apparently I did not. About it. Oh, boy. Green Stompy. All right. Well, we'll see how this goes. Green Stompy decks are pretty strong. About it. Pelt collects us. I'll play a Plains. Golden Egg draw card. Pass the turn. Yeah, I wonder if this deck could use a Wrath somewhere. Opponent. 
How on earth do you remember a sigil of sleep? I've looked through a lot of magic cards. Back from the the days when I used to buy and sell collections. <laughs> hanger back. X oh, it's hardened scales. All right. Put it. Hanger back X1. Combat. Getting in, getting in. Hitting us. We untap. We draw. Oath of Kaya. All right. That's fine. Oath of Kaya. Get rid of Pelt Collector. Pass the turn. Up to 22. Oh, we're gonna, we might feed the kids. We might get a winning record. What do you got to vote it? I remember that's because I tried it in a Starfield build. I don't remember what it does. I don't remember what, what Sigil Sleep does. Yeah, Supreme Verdict might be worth it. There's Windy Constrictor. Counters on the Hangerback Walker. Opponent passing. Well, okay. Thought sees you. <laughs> that is a frightening hand. Take Nissa. Untap land. Ugh. Yeah, this is this is frightening. To fairy. Hmm. Bounce hanger pack. Ugh. Yeah, this matchup we're gonna need a gonna need a true wrath, I think. Pot it. Hanger back is pretty annoying because it shuts down our Ugh. Everything about this is bad news. Opponent gets in, kills to fairy, we gain a bit of life. Yeah, hand is stacked. Pot it. Oh, hardened scales too. It keeps getting worse. Hanger back returns. Bigger and better than ever. Hmm. Hollowed fountain untapped. To fairy. Bounce. Hanger back. Play search. Pass the turn. We need a sweeper. I think this deck does need a sweeper subway. Just hear me out. Fires of invention, Starfield. I mean, it seems like it it could be functional. That seems like it might actually be good. Regardless of the winner losses with goldfish to make something happen. Most don't believe it's possible in a game of magic. Always happy to watch Goldfish and Ted's on doing well. Thank you so much for the kind words. I'm a, a big believer in having fun even when you're losing. And I think normally we do. Sometimes someone mentioned uh, last stream when we were playing Historic and playing against Nexus that I came across Salty. I didn't realize it at the time, but I I think normally we do a pretty good job of that. About it. Passes. It's Kanta. Uh-huh. Well, keep to fairy. <laughs> uh, play to fairy. Just too much, they're too big. Bounce hanger back walker. Again. Trial of ambition. Kill something. Yeah, wow, they give up on Constrictor. All right, God, let's try and go. I mean, we're fighting. We're fighting Glenn. Would you play a PTQ sometimes? Would be an awesome stream idea. Uh, is that something you'd like to see? Would you like to see a more competitive stream like that? They do have a bunch of Pioneer PTQs, and I do enjoy the Pioneer format, so I wouldn't mind doing a, a Pioneer PTQ. Pouta hits us. And another winding constrictor. And stone coil serpent is a 3-3. Three, three. As Ganta. Oath of Kaya. One, two, three, one, two. Hmm. Well, no. We'll keep it. 
play Oath of Kaya. Kill Winding Constrictor. Dawn of Hope. Pass the turn. Ho! Oh, oh, Ho! It's so close! You and a PTQ would love to see that. What deck would you play in a Pioneer PTQ right now? Uh, probably either... I mean, if my goal was to win, I think the best decks in the format are either something with Field of the Dead or the Black Red Aggro deck. I think those are are the two top decks in the in the format at the moment. Opponent, gonna make their things massive. Yup. Well, crack this. Alright. Oh, uh, we've fought in and clawed, but we don't have a way to just sweep away the board. And these things are getting big. Pout it. Is Kanta. Hmm. So we can Oath Rishkar, go to 17, draw a card off Dawn of Hope. In theory, that could save us a turn, right? Alias Babylon. Well, what else are we going to hit, though? Like, what can we hit that's better than Oath? Is there anything that's actually better than Oath that we can possibly hit? Uh... Alias Babylon, keeping up your content has helped me enjoy the game so much. I would do otherwise. Love you and all the crew do. Thank you, Alias Babylon. Welcome back to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. These soups here for our new subscriber. Uh, Aldrazi Tron is is a a solid modern deck. I mean, I don't think it's top tier, but it's 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 okay. So we keep it. Oath of Kaya. Kill Rishkar. Go to 17. Draw a card. Huh, this thing's unchumpable too, thanks to Trample. I mean, we're fighting in Clawin. We are fighting in Clawin as much as we can. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. If we flip and make a token, I feel like this is fine. I mean, we're dead to, like, walking ballistas. We're dead to lots of stuff. Dead to another Rishkar, but that's just how Hardened Scales works. Yeah, Stone Coil Serpent's a very strong card, that's for sure. Probably the, uh, definitely the best of this archetype they've printed. Like, Endless One and whatnot. This has just way more text on it than all the rest. Um, do you think in future add the win percentage on decks in Goldfish? Uh, the problem is, uh, like in the metagame page, unfortunately, that's really hard to actually come up with. <laughs> we're being taunted by Looter Force. Being taunted by it. All right, we're going to be to sideboarding in a minute, and we'll check out the, the Crim video. See what was in Crim's secret lair. Opponent, Woodland Cemetery. Goes to combat. So it looks like we're going to survive the turn, maybe. We take 11, which is a lot, down to 6. Opponent. Hanger back. And. Hanger back. Oy. PVT Skittles, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big Scoops here for our new subscriber. Well, Mill, transform. Too slow, too slow. Dad, dad, dad. One, two, three, four, five. 
Hey, I think I think this means we're just straight up dead. Uh, yeah, all right. Well, this can't. Uh, there's nothing we can hit though. Yep. Eh. This feels like a very, very, very difficult matchup. Very, very tough. All right. Well, ugh. Well, let's see. Let's see the Crim Secret Lair. Thank you so much for allowing me to reveal uh, this wonderful new product for you called C Secret Lair. Secret Lair is to December 9th. They're gone. They're done. Done so. See the box, nice. Guess it. Go ahead, take a guess. Oh, it's Serum Visions. There you go. Figure it out. If you haven't by now, we're about to go check out the cards anyways uh, when we open the box. But it's Serum Visions, and it drops December 6th, ending December 7th. So we've got learning different artists outside of Magic. Uh, there are a bunch of new artists that create surreal psychedelic. It's very nice, very fancy uh, wrapping. Yes, 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 this is great. <laughs> All right, whoa, let's take a look at this box. Let's be able to hold here and see. This is just too nice. I, I, I'm scared because normally I just like, you know, destroy the wrapping and everything on Christmas morning and stuff like that, so I'm going to try not to do that. Oh, to the side. A that is a... All right, so let's let's look at all of these. Oh, wow, these are gorgeous. These are absolutely gorgeous. Let's go over them one by one. Okay, so up front we've got this first serum visions here, done by Jamie A. Zuverza, known for an elegant cosmic perversion. Punk scene. This artwork is gorgeous. Holy cow! Um, and then based in LA that is most popular for her works with psychedelic and surreal street murals. You can tell just from like look how crazy this the work is. Actually, you have to take a closer look. You know when you obviously purchase this, but there are actually two sets of eyes on each side. They've got they, they have multiple year long design projects for art uh, for portrait mapping, bike art, things like that. Like or otherworldly style of artwork. Now if you look closely, this is very otherworldly. Like, I mean, you've got the mind's eye look going. You've got the huh. crazy blue mana potion. This is absolutely gorgeous. The art's awesome. The art is the art is super cool. That's some of the sweetest art that we've seen on Magic cards. So that's that's cool. On the other hand, Serum Visions has been reprinted a lot, three bucks. So you could get. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? What do you think about a product like this? So basically, they look, I mean, they they look amazing. They look so cool. And I love cool art on cards like that. On the other end, Servage is like a $3 card. Is it worth paying 30 bucks for four copies of Servages? I guess it depends on what you're going to do with Servages. Like the art is definitely is definitely super awesome. Like there no no questions about that. That part is that part is super sweet. Uh, I believe it's thirty dollars. Thirty dollars, or you can buy the set of like, oh no, oh we didn't even sideboard. Ugh. Okay. Well, this is probably uh distracted by the video. Well, there goes our, there goes our, uh, <laughs> there goes our dream, dream dying. Ay. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, we probably should have sideboarded. That probably would have been helpful. I do like the I do like the art though. We got distracted by the new cards. Blooming Marsh for our opponent. And Pelt Collector. Passes. Land. Golden Egg. Well, Trial of Ambition. Get rid of Pelt Collector. Pass the turn. Give us a land. Give us a land. We need a land deck. Please. Pwn it. Overgrow 2 untapped and winding constrictor land off the top for teferi that's land okay so now we get to teferi bounce winding constrictor another land okay we're getting there we're getting there without sideboarding why did it come in a big box uh that is that is the the product, the secret layer product. They all come in a a custom box like that. Opponent plays a Nissa, makes a plant. Opponent passes. And I'll take up to fairy. Huh. That plant token is kind of obnoxious. I guess we just need to cast out to get rid of Nissa. Pass the turn. Do you think those boxes will fit MTG decks, preferably Commander? Oh, that I I don't know. The box is marketed as holding two Commander decks, so apparently it is supposed to. Who are they designed for? So, I mean, it's, it seems so far like they have a bunch of different artists. I think people who want to want to like bling out their decks is probably one of 
probably one of the audiences. <laughs> Opponent sending a plant message. You have a pump spell? That doesn't that doesn't work that way. Okay. Okay. Opponent. <laughs> Passes. That was odd. Experiment one. All right. Ugh. I'll play temple. Scry. I'll keep cast out. Tick up to fairy. Golden egg. Draw cast out. Pass the turn. Yeah, it seems like they have a blossoming defense. Opponent. Land. Oh, this is where it goes bad. Ugh. Not feeling great about where we're at. Phone it. What do you got? What do you got? On the other hand, for not sideboarding, we're putting up a decent fight. Yeah, Blossoming event seems likely. Hopefully no Rishkar. Walking Ballista. X3. Yep. Opponent, combat. That plant token really shuts down our Eldest Reborn, too. Hits to Fairy, hits us. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess we're going to sack this to gain life. Untap. Temple. Scry. Hmm. <sighs> One, two, three, one, two, three, four. To fairy, one, two, three, one, two. All right, land to the bottom. Uh, cast out. We're trying, we're trying hard. So what do you think of Secret Lair so far, chat? Is it something that, is it something that you're planning on purchasing? Pass the turn. You buy the scent you want, you get exactly what you want. Some sets have three cards, some have five in the set. I think they said up to seven, but I, that might be just uh, the cat deck with the two tokens counted in as well. Yeah. The plant token shuts down all of our edict effects, so they're not, they're not actually effective with this plant token out, which is kind of a huge issue. The Nissa didn't look like it did much, but just making this one plant is really making all of our cards a lot worse. Well, doom foretold. I don't know if this is going to be enough or not. Dawn of Hope. Oh, we'll see. Opponent does have to sack a real card. We're still just hanging on by a thread, though. Pwn it. Oh. Oh. Are we dead? Are we dead? Are we dead? Pwn it. What do they sack? Experiment one. Okay. Maybe? Maybe there's hope? Follow up. Ooh, Nissa. Okay. Grows the dorks. 5, 9, 10, 11. That's lethal. Well, I guess we'll make him attack, but that is lethal. Oh! Oh, well, looks like we're going to finish with the classic 2-3. Oh, hmm. Oh, I feel like this is a deck that is, uh, they've been slowly revealing the layers. 
Huh. Well, this was definitely a big step forward from last time. Things we learned, Lunar Force is horrible, and the deck needs a Wrath. The deck needs just a way to Wrath the board. I feel like those are the two things we learned. We lost multiple games because of Lunar Force, which I think at best is like a stick it in your sideboard and maybe it's okay versus control card. It probably just does not need to be in the deck at all, though. Like, it's funny and cute, but boy, was that a just a horrible, horrible card for us to draw. And then I think just having an actual wrath to reset the board is probably the only other thing the deck's missing. Like, I feel like those two changes and maybe our opponent's, like, running running slightly less good in some of our matchups but i feel like that is that is arguably all the deck needs to actually be able to just uh be very very good we were so close i'm a little sad that I'm a little sad that we we didn't have a better record. All right, let's let's try another game. Let's just make those two changes. Add two white mana flash removal. Uh, I don't think it's actually very good in this deck because because you end up having to sacrifice it to Doom Foretold. Is Soul's Ransom either even good? Uh, it's kind of okay. As a ceiling of three two, I think it's definitely. I think it has a ceiling of of better than three two. Copter, yeah, maybe that that is the other thing we struggled in, with against mono black. In theory, Doom foretold can answer it, but and we have maybe imprisoned in the moon is just wrong. Like maybe we just want detention spheres. Like, Detention Sphere answers... Like, maybe this Soul's Ransom... Maybe we just want four Detention Spheres. Like, that... Maybe this deck... Is, maybe those are just some some too cute of choices. Vampire Madness. Yeah, we might play some, uh, some Vampire Madness at some point in the future. I don't think... Uh, ugh, now we get no lands. I don't think... I don't think we uh, will play it today. I don't think we have enough time to uh, to do it justice before the end of our stream today. Yeah, I think the Tetris Sphere is just... It's basically strictly better, Banishing Light. Well, this is not the hand we wanted to see staring back at us, but I don't think we we can go to, go to five, because we don't want that either. Put it. Main Deck Sphere of Safety hoses aggro. Yeah, the problem is we don't actually have enchantments sitting out all that often. Maybe it's still worth it. Maybe just, uh, maybe just, uh, having one or two enchantments is fine. But because of how the deck works with a lot of enchantments that sacrifice themselves, we don't often actually just have like five enchantments sitting out or anything. Is there an argument for Dance in the Mance in the deck? Uh, I mean, I think you could play it for fun. I don't think... I think Starfield basically covers what Dance would do, except does it arguably better? Because we don't have, like, mass ways to to fill our graveyard. We're not, like, self-milling. Uh, so I feel like Starfield just does what Dance does, but better. Four eggs, four guild globe, two or three dance, oath of jays. Yeah, if you do that though, aren't you just gonna die? I think that's the. You could try to play it like standard and just play, just play all those things. But I feel like you just get run over if you try to just play a bunch of cycling eggs and card draw. But it plays a forest, and grim flare. Ugh. Well, losing that Othakaya, not ideal. Removal. Ugh. All right, well. <laughs> someday, someday we'll get there. <laughs> What's the plan for dealing with Field of the Dead? Um, 
hopefully using Fall of the Thran to wrath away the board and also Detention Sphere to slow down the zombies. Hey, welcome, Gwynep. Good to see you, good to see you. Well, this was by far the worst opening hand that we've had, so not surprising is going a little bit clunky. Opponent gets it, it's us. Dow do. 18. So what are some decks that you still want to see in Pioneer that you haven't uh, haven't got to see yet? What else should we be working on Pioneer-wise? Pota, Grib Flare. Going to start stocking the graveyard. Kadich Blue for green, which gives you Krufus Insight, possible draw three. Corsair, which is great against aggro. Not really sure what blue brings to the table. Um, I think uh, Teferi is probably the biggest thing that blue brings. I also think Demonic Pack could be a cool card to try. I don't know how often we're going to kill ourselves. Oh, no. All right, uh, well, let's go to sideboarding. That was about as, uh, about as brutal as possible. Sure. Ha! Huh. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, pot it, pot it, pot it, pot it. Huh. Well, let's bring in Phyrexian Scriptures. Go down the Dawn of Hope and a Golden Egg. Uh, run it like that? Great Aurora, yeah, I wish it wasn't bugged on Moto. That is that is kind of a the downside. I've been trying to make Mill with Frank Sanity work. Um Psycho Smurf for the 37th month. Good lord, welcome to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soup cheer for you. I think uh hopefully you can figure it out at some point. The combo is cool. The question is, how do you actually like support it to live long enough to pull off the combo? Also, it's a little bit weird that you got to have the an even number of cards in the deck for it to mill the entire deck. Tasty Grubbins for the second month. Welcome back to the fishbowl. Thank you so much for your subscription. Big soup's here for our new subscriber. I want to play Psy with Emery, Convoke Artifacts, Eggs, and Paradoxical Outcome. Ooh, that sounds fun. Yeah, traumatized for anxiety. That's definitely something we'll... I keep thinking that maybe it can work for a budget magic. Because you don't really have expensive mill cards. And maybe mono blue is the best way to take advantage of it anyway. Uh, I think three is the the minimum that you want. I think it's, that last ad was just unfortunate that we mulliganed into uh, a bad hand. But you really want Starfield. It is the engine of the deck. Have a constellation list I've been tinkering with. I think Doomic Giant is very undervalued card in the format. Doomic's definitely sweet. Ooh. That looks sweet. Alright, we get to play first. Yeah, kind of... Oh, man. Oh, this has just been horrible hand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's just time for the magic gods to uh, to stick it to us a bit. Well, uh, Starfield to the bottom for now, and I guess Othakaya. Ugh! Oh, we're just a mulligan a minute uh, in this match, unfortunately. Yeah, the deck is really sweet. It's not looking sweet right this second because we can't get away from one Landers, and we're in a Thoughtseize matchup, which means we're just starting with with zero cards in hand every game. But, uh, in a normal game, it's sweet. I just wanted to make a Tortured Existence-style deck. Nyx Weaver, Palace Siege, Looping Playcrafters with Palace, Palace Siege seems gross. That does sound pretty gross. Well, playing land. Is Egg primarily for fixing? Uh, fixing isn't especially relevant. But drawing a card and then gaining life uh, secondarily is relevant fixing boy not the right matchup to uh have the magic gods make you mold a five that's for sure is in quagmire yep well swamp go as someone new to moto and wants to dive into pioneer any advice on ways to get cards accumulate points and tickets oh boy 
Uh, there's a video on the YouTube that goes over the whole topic of getting started on Magic Online. That is definitely a good resource for that. I'm probably going to try updating it at some point. Boat it. Uh, sure. Grab a land. Play a land past the turn. Opponent untaps. Yeah, I think as far as accumulating points and tickets... Mostly just a matter of playing events and uh, in winning consistently. Other than that, there isn't isn't really any cheat code to it. Yeah, drafting is vi you got to be really, really, really good at drafting to not lose money drafting. Constructed, you still have to be good, but you don't have to be nearly as good as you need to playing limited. Don't mind me, I'm just writing uh, writing to know why we're watching a stream for when I watch the replay later. <laughs> well, what's up, Squall? How are you today? Vote it. Kelly Toss. Well, Trial of Ambition can take care of that. Opponent. Passing. Well, Trial of Ambition. Get rid of Kalidus. I wish we had started with more cards. Five is just not many. I finally collected enough Sanford Olive stickers to put one on each of my EDH deck boxes. Ooh, that's awesome, please. No grease. That's super cool. Vote it. Yeah, it is hard to play Magic Online spending zero money. Like, you have you almost always have to invest something initially. Once you get going, you can potentially get that money back out of it. Uh, because you have a real real money economy. So that's the upside, is there are ways to... to ew. There are ways to... Oh, boy. All right. Um, all right, let's just, uh, let's just try a different match where we don't mold a five and play against Vivian Reed. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. Well, I mean, technically that goes down as a loss, although, unfortunately, that's more of a product of just the, the opening hands than anything else. Yeah, Vivian's brutal. Hey, what's up, uh, Spudion? How are you? Still have a sticker for you. We'll bring it to Command Fest. Ooh, yeah, I still... I would like to see one in person at some point. Uh, if we jump into the same water, it's going to be the same... The same person, I assume. Uh, I don't want to play the same matchup, really. We might be scooping here. Um, it looks very clean on my archive box. Ooh, that's good. Hey, what's up, uh, Zenery? How are you? Yeah, Oko's pretty valuable. Only complaint is it's super small. Yeah, I've seen a couple pictures on Twitter. It does seem uh, smaller than I imagined. Also, once you get going, you get uh, desensitized to spending hundreds of dollars a month on digital cardboard. Uh, it's not really... Moto is not expensive as people uh, make it out to be, honestly. I think, personally, I mean, it really depends on how you play. I think for me, Moto is is cheaper than playing Arena pretty, pretty significantly. But, uh, or at least, maybe not significantly, but I think it is cheaper but it really depends uh, on how you on how you play. Like if you just free to play arena and grind into a deck, obviously you're spending zero, uh, but you're spending time. But the prices on Magic Online are actually actually surprisingly cheap uh, a lot of the times. How did you get through the password reset? Thankfully, I knew what my secret question was or whatever. Whatever they called it. Whatever the reset the password question. Somehow. Because uh, it's probably been 10 years or some ridiculous long amount of time since I've actually had to put it in there. So that was fortunate. Huh. Well, hopefully we can end one more match.
Moto pays for itself if you do enough leagues, end up with a winning record. Uh, yeah, that's true. If you can post a good record consistently, you'll get there. All right. All right. Let's see it, Dak. We will play first. All right. This is a functional, a functional hand of magic cards. Except for a hype three-minute walker, they're ridic a ridiculously expensive on Moto. Yeah, mostly cards that are... Cards that are new and standard sets, but see heavy play in older formats like Modern or uh, Pioneer Legacy, those end up being expensive. You can even rent decks on Moto before putting the cash down to help you decide what you want to play. Yeah, I think that's what been one of the best innovations on Moto recently, is being able to uh, do the loan program things. They're usually fairly affordable, depending on... Uh, depending on your, I mean, affordables relative to your disposable income, but they're usually pretty, uh, pretty affordable. Ugh. All right, Bloodsoak Champion. We've seen this before, but it seems like Wrath should be helpful. Doom Foretold's going to be interesting. Not great against Bloodsoak in specific. Uh, Dawn of Hope. Well, let's just play an island. Run out Golden Egg. Draw a card. Pass the turn. Opponent. This is a Smuggler's Copter matchup. Opponent. Swap. Combat. Gets in. This is one of the one of the top tags in Pioneer at the moment. Opponent hits us. And. Scrappy Scrounger. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, let's thought seize. Opponent in the tank. Cycling lands could be interesting. I saw this at top decks with lots of mono black aggro on the top deck. Yeah, I think uh, it is definitely one of the best decks right now. Uh, there is a BNR today, but I would not expect... Oh, boy. That's a lot of one-drops. But I would not expect any changes, according to what Wizards has said. Well, this is where hitting a Supreme Verdict would make us happy. Oh, all these are bad for us. Every, every single one of these options. Um, huh. Okay. Wow, that is just an absurd hand. Hallowed Fountain. Tap, pass the turn. I don't know how we beat that hand. Yeah, I think Field of the Dead Smuggler's Copter are probably at the at the top of the watch list for Pioneer. Pout it, get it, it does. Down to 11. Yeah, triple one drop just kills us, though, essentially. Especially since these are going to grow. Well, give us give us a Supreme Verdict deck. You could do it. You could do it. We put them in the deck. No, sir. All right. Sure. Well, hmm. Not great, not great, not great. Uh, looting is not part of the Pioneer format. It's not not part of the card pool. Uh, not part of the card pool. Well, bring in Supreme Verdict. Bring in <sighs> Detention Spheres. Go down Thought Seizes. Hmm. Go up Nyx Fleece Ram. Go down a Blood Fast. Go down Dawn of Hope and Eldest Reborn. Run it like that. I watched an episode of The Simpsons when they travel up to New York and everything is ugly. Do you live in that area? Have you seen that episode? Oh, that episode does not sound familiar. That must be, is it in a more recent season? I sort of stopped watching Simpsons after, I sort of, sort of stopped watching Simpsons after maybe like season 11 Writing's or not that easy, but Grammarly can help. All right, let's see. Let's see what Vince's box looks like. Ten minutes, Vince. Ten minutes to show off this video, to show off this box. 
hands. Come on, say. Look at that. Okay, let's take a look at what's inside. So we've got this uh, prop. And then we've got these cards here. The box is really, really nice, but it's not really... I guess so. So sponsor this video, can I explicitly mention which... It's Rambo, right? I'm allowed to say Rambo. Okay. This is Goblin Bushwhacker. This is a one mana one one with a kicker that pumps your whole team and gives... Bushwhacker. You love it. In previous... Dies, you get a trigger. Sharp you get to shooter. untap Goblin Sharpshooter. The, the art's cool. Dork and a very, very powerful Goblin. I love this, like, character sets. This is Goblin King. This is a three mana two two that gives Goblins plus one plus one and Mountain Walk. And this guy is a literal king. Look at him. There's like on a leash or on a chain or being like, you know, the smaller dude who's a bit more manic. And this time around, we got a bomb throw. Also danger. He's a huge chunking warrior barbarian. If you don't know Goblin Pile Driver, again, a big part of like... I mean, the art's cool. The art's definitely sweet. I... We have said that on almost all of those. I really like... I really like... Oh, no. Not again! Ah! Oh, what is going on? Why all of a sudden can we not just have a... Funk... Oh, my... Okay. Okay. We're just going to concede. And we're going to try one more match. One more match. All of a sudden, we've just gotten... The worst of luck never ending. Oh, we've been mulliganing to... To five. Every single game. Oh. Oh, yeah, the art is definitely, the art is definitely super sweet. Is there a list somewhere of what cards all the boxes contain? Uh, they're basically, they're basically being revealed as it goes. They will be up on the site. I think they are being put up as they go, but they're not all up yet. Uh, how many lands? 20... I mean, we didn't have this problem during our league. We've just the last two games. 24, 24 lands. Plus some uh, cantrippy golden egg type stuff. But, yeah, we're, we've had a ridiculously hard time just hitting, uh, hitting a land drop These since, uh, since we finished our league. Uh, the Pioneer BNR has not went up yet, but Wizard said that they basically said there weren't going to be any changes this week. They said they didn't expect to make any changes, so I'm assuming that there are no changes. I don't think there. I don't even think it's a curve. Like we just literally can't have, haven't been able to have two lands in our opening hand. I think the curve is is basically fine. We don't even have many four drops. We have four doom foretold and two cast outs, which are cyclable. So we don't actually have. If you look at the curve of the deck. I think it's more just the variance of magic. I mean, I guess there's two Supreme Verdicts now, but these are actually one mana cyclers. So I think it's more just we haven't been able to hit a land in a absolute sense those last couple games. Yeah, I mean, it's magic. Sometimes you just don't hit lands. I keep trying to build a good reanimator deck for Pioneer, but it feels like without Imperial Rights, not super feasible. Do you think that reanimator can work without that card? Oh, man. I cannot really foresee reanimator being very competitive in Pioneer. There's not really good reanimation spells. Maybe, maybe some sort of, like, grindy reanimator deck where, like, Cauldron of Eternity or, like, Whip of Erebos. Maybe something that's about, like, playing a solid mid-range game, but then having reanimation built in. Maybe something like that could work. But I don't think, uh... I don't think the style of, like, get back one big threat and have that win the game. Not only is there not good reanimation spells, there's not really guaranteed finishers. You can't get a Iona and just hard lock the game. Or, like... Uh, some one-shot creature. So that's kind of the other problem, is you're sort of, like, lacking good reanimation targets for that style of strategy and good reanimation spells. And if you combine those two things together, that ends up uh, that ends up being rough. No, we just finished our league and we're, uh, we're still playing, or attempting to play, if anyone else uh, jumps in here. Trying to get in one more match. The last two games we've just mulliganed right out of the game, twice in a row. Since uh, since we've been doing the one-off matches. Is Stormtide Leviathan in the format? Ugh, I would have to check. I don't remember what core set that was from. Uh, it looks like it was reprinted at M15. 
I mean, Serpentine Leviathan is fine. It does just die, though. Comrade Gondor, welcome to the fishbowl for the 13th month. Thank you for your subscription. Come on. All right, there we go. Someone, join the game. Thank you for your subscription. Big soup cheer for you. So, yeah, I think that more of like a grindy value -y, Hey, that's a functional hand. Uh, more of like a grindy value -y style reanimator might be better. Although, at the same time, you still have to deal with... Ley Lines of the Void and other strong graveyard haze spells. Vote it. Adepts. Add. Swamp. Alright. Mana Blacks. Again. Yeah, I mean, it is a good deck. And I'll play an island. Play a Trial of Ambition. You're at a Bloodstoke Champion. Pass the turn. Ashen Rider is decent. At least that exiles something. But even that, I kind of like that better as, like, something that you whip of Erebos back. Like, just getting back Ashen Rider, it doesn't just win you the game in the way that... In the way that, uh, like, Iona or Grizzlebrand or something does in other formats. Where it's just like, okay, you do this and you immediately, 100% of the time... Well, very close to 100% of the time you uh you win the game that just doesn't uh doesn't really happen with any of the pioneer cards well, all right we lost our doom foretold unfortunately and eventually our opponent's gonna get back a million blood so champions gonna need to find a starfield of nyx at some point put it is mono green still viable my game store friends say mono green is viable in pioneer mono green probably one of the or green base decks but yeah mono green is one of the better decks in pioneer mono green or like green x kind of aggro stompy decks having a bunch of really good a bunch of really good uh three drops and then having a bunch of all right there's wrinkle and then having a bunch of uh Mana dorks, pretty powerful. Bonet gets it. Hits us. Is this deck better as Abzan? Uh, I don't know. I haven't tried Abzan. Oh, there's a Starfield of Nyx, finally. Hmm. Well, ugh. Man, I wish we could hit a, hit a land drop. Well, Trial of Ambition, kill Rankle. Ugh. <laughs> We're having troubles again! Uh, do the recent bands hurt mono green? Mono green is still probably the premier color in the format. So it's not a, it's not like a full on modern deck. Like when it had, when it had a ley line and so forth and was just absolutely busted. Oh my goodness. Well, okay. Teferi. Give us a land, give us a land, give us a land. Please. Well, that is a land, okay. Not as good as a black source to thought sees this copter, but better than not hitting a land, period. Yeah, mono green is still very good. Uh, no dance of the mans. We're a Starfield of Nyx deck. Bone it. Coligan's command, getting back Rankle. And killing to fairy. Yup. Replays copter. Come on! Land to get down the Starfield would be great. Okay. Well, in that case, we will just play Starfield, take our beats, and trust that this is going to get us to where we need to go. Starfield, go. Let the great grind begin. Can you take a look at my deck for standard? Yeah, let me see. Uh, anonym. Opponent rankles. Yup. Three color elementals. Ew. That looks sweet. I mean, elementals are definitely a powerful tribe. Risen Reef into Scampering Scorcher offers a lot of value. Pote, Rankle, and what are we doing with it, opponent? Each player discards a card. Sure. And we'll go down Trial. Uh, these Blood Soak champions are going to get obnoxious. Bonent. Land. 
And Blood Soak Champion. All right. Gets back Blood Soak Champion. Well, we get to untap. Get back. Hmm. Get back Doom Foretold. Yes. Play Golden Egg. Draw a card. Ooh. That's excellent. Supreme Verdict. This is what we wanted Supreme Verdict for. Supreme Verdict. Get it out of here. And this sets us up to get rid of Smuggler's Copter. And this, Pona scoops it up. Our addition. Paying off. Paying off, paying off. That's what we were missing earlier. Is Boros Feather any good? I have Standard Shell. Want to make it a Pioneer base deck? Uh, I saw an MTG Goldfish for a uh, list from a 12 to in Pioneer League. I think that Feather is reasonable. I don't think it's uh, necessarily tier one, but I think it is. I think it is a legitimate deck in the format. I do. Um. Kind of like a, a second or third tier aggro deck, I would say. But it is, it's fairly inexpensive, and it can definitely win games. I have lost to it plenty of times. Yeah, all right, we'll keep this. A little bit clunky, but once we get going, we have a lot of removal. Opponent, Knight of the Eben Legion. Sure. Supreme Verdict. Oh, and that's a land. That's what we wanted. Well, dead weight you. Pass the turn. Is Ram worth in this matchup? Uh, I think I like Ram better against Mono Red. This deck has so many evasive creatures, and Rankle can easily kill it. So I feel like I feel like it's better against Red Aggro than Black Aggro. Maybe that's wrong though. Maybe I'm underrating it. Well, play Search for Visconta. Pass the turn. The hand still looks good. I think we're getting there. Hey Seth, I managed to find some time to paint on Saturday. What do you think? I love this card. Ooh, let me see. Wow, that is a that is a sweet looking massacre girl. That looks super cool. Yeah, that looks uh that looks awesome. Very cool. Opponent. Copter. Oh, knight. Alright. Sure, sure, sure. Boated. Uh hey Seth. What do you think of Mill and Modern? I've seen it in leagues recently. Can be built for less than a hundred dollars. Ooh, do you have a do you have a list to the or a link to the list? The Jambles McBooty. I I have seen Mill lists. I don't know if I've seen them in that price range though. But I think Mill. Ooh, especially thanks to Drown in the Lock is actually at least semi competitive. And lots of tension sphere. Definitely get rid of Smuggler's Copter. Pass the turn. Uh, can we kill them all? Can we kill enough? Phone it. Please don't thought seize us. Ooh, Rabble Master. Ooh, we're gonna need a verdict. Gonna need that verdict. Phone it. Combat. Dork. Give us that verdict. Give us that verdict. Oh, that's a good buffer for Trial of Ambition, too. Photo gets it. It says, Yeah, down to 10. Grows the Knight of the Even Legion. We untap. As Kanta. Graveyard. Oath of Kaya. Kill Rabble Master. Shambling vet. We need a sweeper. We need a sweeper. Mill for under hundred dollars would probably have to go forego heater and crab fetch land. Yeah, that's probably true. I've been playing wolves in standard. Was wondering what your thoughts on the deck. Ooh, let me see. Parafax. Opponent gonna pump knight. Yep. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is a beating. Opponent hits us. Grows the dork. Well, it's Kanta. We need Supreme Verdict. I think that's our only well, hmm. <sighs> All 
All right, let's keep it. Play a planes to ferry. We're probably still dead, but this gives us a chance. Bounce night. Trial of Ambition. Who we still could be dead. Yeah, Wolves is a deck that I'd like to try at some point. I think that uh I think that it can be at least semi competitive. Like it's got a lot of good cards. I don't know how it lines up with uh with the metagame exactly, but Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh Okay. So that puts us to dead. Did not hit the sweeper. Uh, well, we get to be on the play for game number three, which is nice. Yeah, I think that Mill, uh, it is cheap in uh, in Magic Online prices, and I think it is, it's good enough to uh, to win a reasonable amount of games. I think it's a, a fairly legit deck. What do you think about splitting the rest between Verdict and Cry of the Carnarium to help against things like Bloodsoe Champion? Ugh. Ugh. And we're going to keep this. Hope nothing goes horribly wrong. Oh, uh, watery grave tapped. I mean, the starfields are sweet. Thought seas here would be bad for us. Bode it. Foreboding ruins. My favorite dual land cycle. Um, yeah, it might be worth considering. I think it kind of depends on the matchup. Being able to get rid of blood soak champion permanently is definitely nice. On the other hand, against the green decks, Cry of the Carnarium misses uh, misses a lot of important threats, so that's kind of the downside. Bout it. Smuggler's Copter. Not banned yet. Ghost Combat. Uh, so the eh, meta's all aggro. Uh, I wouldn't say that. Hmm. Alright, keep the Swamp. Play the Swamp. Detention Sphere. Get rid of Smuggler's Copter. Pass the turn. Yes, please. I mean, we're going to get to Starfield at some point. There are aggro decks in the meta, but there's definitely plenty of uh, control, and ramp is very popular and playable as well. Opponent Rebel Master. All right, show us that Supreme Verdict. Opponent gets in. Hits us. Down to 13. Top card. Mill the land. Hmm, that's not great. Golden egg. Ugh. Oh no. Oh no, not like this. I think we're gonna die. Why not put Leyline of the Void in this deck? Oh, we got Leyline of the Void in our sideboard. We got the full four. Pwn it. Sweeper. We need our sweeper. Running out of time to hit the sweeper. Passive is good against Bloodstoke Champion, but banned against Copter. Also really bad with all of our Edict effects, because then our opponent uh, our opponent just gets to sacrifice. Gets to sacrifice whatever has passive is about it. Uh I think Copter will likely end up being banned in Pioneer. I think at the moment, at the top of uh, my watch list would be Copter, Field of the Dead, and Once Upon a Time. I think those are probably the, the next most likely to go. Scrap Heap Scrounger. Well, let's see if we can hit a Wrath. We get a look at it, thanks to Search for Iskanta. We got a bunch... Oh, oh, mocking us! Mocking us! Well, that's not the Wrath we need here. Golden egg, and yeah, that does it. Ugh. Hmm. All right. Well, interesting. We've tried it twice. I think that's, uh... I, I think that's probably our run for now with Starfield of Doom. So what do we learn? The deck has improved. This is definitely better than the infamous small Japanese build that we tried a little bit of last week and uh probably would never win a match this build it's close to being competitive still not really all the way there though so it's a really unique deck when it gets going we had some spectacular games like luby dude foretold with starfield it could do some really crazy things on the other hand 
we had some games where got just overwhelmed by our opponent going like mana dork into turn two questing beast or turn three questing beast into turn four glory bringer like starts like that can be painful which is why we added the supreme verdicts but still that is a bit of a concern so ay 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 Anyway, we'll have to do uh we'll have to explore some more Pioneer in the future, but we'll probably put Starfield Doom on the sidelines for now. Two times with two different builds, probably enough for now. So reminders everyone, I think that brings us to the end for tonight, but we'll be back. 24 hours from now, more streaming, roughly 6 p.m. Eastern tomorrow, uh, but no stream on Thursday because of Thanksgiving. So reminders, replay YouTube. That's where you can find all the old streams, including this one, in the future. Normal YouTube, Budget Magic going up tonight, uh, a historic video from Krim tomorrow. On Wednesday, we're playing some Against the Odds with a deck that uh, turned out pretty sweet featuring Tisa, so keep it out for all of that. Uh, a reminder that our sponsor tonight is Card Kingdom. And if you need some Magic the Gathering cards, you can snag up over at CardKingdom.com. Even grab a Saffron Olive sticker if you're so inclined. Most importantly, everyone, uh, thank you to all of you for hanging out, for having fun, for watching us sometimes have good games, sometimes we'll get into oblivion with some Doom for Told Starfield and Pioneer. So have a wonderful evening. Uh, I will see y'all tomorrow, hopefully. And uh, yeah, thanks again just for being so awesome. Definitely, definitely, definitely appreciate it. You all are super duper amazing. So have a wonderful night and yeah, I'll talk to you soon.